Hello and welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop Streamed, your one stop for co-op news and playthroughs. And today we are playing through Rise of Red Skull, the whole thing. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how long it takes. But with me is Terrence. What's up, Terrence? Hey, how's it going? Good, man. I think you, I think you usually say Marvel Champions. So I know. I always do off. say Marvel Champions, but I, I, you know what? You got to change it up, man. I've been in this relationship for a long time. I'm starting to get a little stale. We got to, you know, we got to change it up every once in a while. And the man in the middle is... I, I feel offended. <laughs> I feel offended you called Marvel Champions stale. No, no, not Marvel <laughs> Champions. My relationship with you. Get it right, Terrence. <laughs> <laughs> and in the man in the middle, nice. who, who will keep Terrence and I from uh, chewing each other out tonight, is the Brant. What's up, Brant? Howdy, everybody. Glad to be here playing again. I played a couple weeks with Peter, but I never played with Terrence, so this should be exciting. Yes, yes. Well, you will see why our streams take two hours now. No, just yeah. man, I'm I'm, I'm starting. Wait, wait, wait. I'm wait, fired you, up. You're talking about our relationship, and still, you've been cheating on me like with Brent and Steve while I'm in. I have, I have. Uh, so we got a bunch of people in the chat already. Thank you all. I'm. I don't know how uh, much I'm going to be able to keep up with the chat today because there's a lot of you out there. Uh, but we've got uh, Steve from Beat the Game. We've got uh, Nine Down. We've got Victor Von Doom, and we've got Josh Walton already chatting in. So hello, everybody. Um, thanks for joining us. And I mean, there's more people out there, but those are the people who have already chatted in. All right, so we're going to get started, Brent. This is your baby. This is something that you started yep. doing. So why don't you explain what we're going to do tonight? Yeah, so we're going to do what are called speed runs, which I think when you guys were talking last week, you're like, oh, I don't want to steal your thing. But like speed runs have been happening in video games for a year. I feel like the most famous one is like Mario 3 where somebody or Mario World or something. Somebody does like all of Mario in 20 minutes or something. Um, so like that whole thing has been happening for a while. So I just thought maybe we can do that in Marvel Champions. And it's totally going to be some people's thing and not other people's thing. So. I really enjoy playing expert level and building a deck and playing a longer game. In fact, I probably play longer sometimes than I have to just because I like building up. Um, but I like speed runs because it's kind of like my mathematical, analytical side. Like, okay, here's the puzzle. Can I deal that much damage in so many turns? So we're just trying to output as much damage as we can and see how many rounds it takes us to take down the boss. In fact, we probably need some kind I got of it. turn counter. Yep. I, I already, right. I, as, as you're saying that, I was like, oh, we should probably get a counter. Um, so I, is, it, is this just Marvel know. Champions Golf? You're just like uh, Crossbones Par 3 or whatever, Par 2? <laughs> right. That's what it is. I kind of like that. So basically the goal is three turns with a villain because we want to flip up, attack, flip down, let them scheme, and then flip up and go for the kill. So after that, you might just be dead because you're not going to block anything. You're not going to do anything like that. You're just going all out damage and see how it goes. So let me ask you a uh, couple of, of questions I, here, Brant. Like, sorry, go ahead. So what if we so, do die, all three of us? Do we redo that thing, keeping our score and trying to start again? Or do we just pretend it didn't happen? Or where are we going here? So I think so. Because nobody's attempted three-player speed run. So I think we have to give ourselves the leeway to say... We're learning. So this is really like learning to speed run more than it is like we figured it out. We're going to do it. So when I play with Captain Marvel, that was the first one I did. I made it so that she beat the whole thing. Like it felt like you need to win. But Galaxy's Most Wanted kind of changed my mind on it because <laughs> right. there's no way you can guarantee you're going to win five in a row in Galaxy's Most Wanted. Um, I think that's where the challenge so comes did, in, right? You lose and your, your score keeps going. It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully we don't lose, right? Over. Because two of us can die. As long as one of us makes it through, we're good. That's Wait, true. so, so when, you, when you talk about speed runs, you mean over a, a set number of villains and not just like par per villain? Like it's not just a challenge per villain? I think challenge per villain makes sense. I always did it as the campaign because I felt like that showed off something more. So the first time I did it on film, I did Captain Marvel, Rise of Red Skull, campaign standard in 15 turns. And people were like, there's no way that's possible. And then they went and tried it and they were like, wow. Most recently, I did it with Star Lord in eleven turns. The entire campaign in eleven turns. Wow, I, I don't, I, I mean, don't think we're sense. beating that today. But Star Lord, yeah, I mean, Star Lord can put out epic stuff on his final turn because he just doesn't care about the consequences. So that makes sense. I almost played a mm -hmm. Star Lord deck today. I was really thinking about it. All right, so this is not speed as far as timing us. We're not going to start a clock now. <laughs> Although hopefully each of these games ends up ending pretty quickly so we can get as many in as possible. But we just mean least number of turns possible. Uh, by the way, Wasteland Sniper, he said, I made it on time. Yes, you did. Thanks for joining us. 
Alrighty. So uh, we're going to start on the left with Terrence playing Hulk. Then Gamora's Brant in the middle and I'm Hawkeye on the right. So let's draw up our starting hands, right? Yep. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I got Yarnbjorn. That could be, I mean, an extra two damage a turn. There's nothing to sneeze at if I can get it out. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. I got two packs. I assume I keep toe to toe. Yeah, makes sense there. Uh, drop combat training. That's probably too expensive, right? It's two for three because you're gonna hit three times. I mean, four if we make it to turn four. Ooh, so I got an assess the situation, which is an interesting card that I put in just for for games like this, and I've actually put it in a little more lately. It's one of those things where if I got one card left over, I'd like it to be assess the situation. So that just means I didn't lose that card, basically, or that card draw. Um, so we'll see if it works out. Um, worst case scenario, I, I ditch it, right? <laughs> right. But I do have a use a lot on the first turn. I didn't get um, I didn't get one of my uh, arrows, but I did get fuse a lot. All right, well, let's start with Terrence. You ready, man? Oh, wait, I should make us on the same team. Can everybody change their team to diamonds? I mean, I can do it for you, but... I do not know how to do okay, that. Okay, I got you. Yes, there now I go. can see your hands, and everybody can see your hands. So crushing blow, toe-to-toe, yeah. -to -toe, brute force, assess the situation, and skilled strike. Oh, look at you with the assess the situation. I like it. I mean, it makes well, I mean, more it sense for Hulk. It came in Hulk's pack, so I feel like that's the... That's when I started thinking about it. Um, especially for... I think speed runs. I was just like, well, if you get if you get it, you can potentially just get a bigger turn for like the next exactly. turn. Exactly. Helps you kind of fish for stuff. Um, okay, so let's see. Steven uh, Johnson says, draw... "I did a speed run today, but it was to the bathroom." <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. That is very true. Very funny. Good job. Sorry, I'm not getting every comment, uh... but I'll find the funny ones in here, maybe. <laughs> Well, people are very lively on here, which is good. I mean, we can't catch all their comments because there's a lot of people. So yeah, that's good. well, it is good. And and the bigger these streams get, the harder it is to keep up with all of it. I, now I understand the Dice Tower when they do their live Q&As. They're like, I, you know, they're just answering questions. They still can't keep up with it. And we're trying to play a game at the same time. Hey, Terrence, you're first, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm stalling. To what, what do I discard here? Unstoppable Force? Go for it. So the other quick note is that we're going to track hero turns, not villain turns. Oh, right. That makes okay. sense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're on turn one. Yep. Look at you. All right. So I think I flip. Um, you think you flip? Then... I, I tell you, that's the yeah, easiest decision you're going to make all day turns. <laughs> <laughs> I think I flip. I think I flip. Um... I keep skilled strike. PRG, welcome. I haven't seen that name before. Strike. Thank you for joining us. But the crushing blow, do you need to use a... I can't remember yeah. what that is. Yeah, I mean, I could keep on Unstoppable Force instead and discard something else. Well, are you going to need to assess the situation or you don't know yet? You don't need some brute force. What? You don't need brute force. Yeah. There's it just no... a lot. I, I just get two out of it, right? Because I would get one for crushing blow, and then I can attack to discard it. Oh, gotcha. So may I just discard assess the situation? Wait, You're not so... going to need it because you got. Oh, you might need it because if you play unstoppable force, or oh, you're not playing unstoppable force, right? You're playing two no. one so cost I pay cards. for crushing blow. Yeah, so you only need one yeah. zero cost card. You definitely don't need to assess yeah. the situation. Toe to toe, and then you'll skilled strike and. So flip. Steven Johnson uh, says, I've play. never played Brute Force because of the math. Does it have a good place in some decks? Um. All right. So let's see. For one cost, <laughs> plus one attack. Basic attack gains piercing. Uh, discard any tough or anything else. Force response. After you make a basic attack, discard Brute Force. I mean, I guess it's good if they have tough, right? Well, it's all, I mean, it, it's good on Crushing Blow because you get that plus one. You get yeah, you're right. You're using it in the best possible situation. The other thing I will mention about speed runs that I really enjoy is you start using cards 
you don't normally use, and you stop using cards you always use. For example, Venom's multi-gun is no good in a speed run. Right. So that's kind of fun to me, that you stop using the cards you're just so used to using. Oh, I see what you're saying. You put brute force in, you have plus one to your attack, so now you attack for four. Then you crushing blow, which does damage equal to your attack. I yeah. get it. Got it. That makes sense. Yeah, but but at that point, you, you'd rather play toe-to-toe, though. Right? Toe-to-toe's better, yeah. So let's play toe-to-toe. All right, so he hits you. He's going to hit for one. Uh, oh, wait, we got to attach a weapon to him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice try there, fellas. Oh, the retaliate's rough. Oh, that is a rough one. I do not like the retaliate. So can anybody spend that, or does anybody want to spend that? I can't. Oh, I could. With Not spend it. That's just a waste. All right. Yeah, bro, I have 18 health. Who cares? I mean, I have That's nine health. I care. <laughs> All right. So we do that, right? So uh, flip the card, the boost. Successful Geek says, woohoo, Marvel Knight. Uh, All right. Ooh, that's four. That's no good. So that's... So four? That's the one on the retaliate. So he takes five. So he takes five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I guess I do this crushing blow for three, and then you take retaliate. Yep. Are we sure and we don't want to get rid of that retaliate before all this? Don't even do it. I, I can't spend it, and you guys have to be in here. Right? I mean, I could spend it. Do you want me to spend it? What do you think? No. All right. So you have to be in hero mode was... to do it. That's the that's the thing. Because I was yeah. gonna say I could yeah. spend it. I mean, I don't want to, but I could. But gosh, I also don't want to be taking retaliate every round. All right. All right, and then five five on this it's pack. So down to twenty three. So plus two for the uh, skilled strike. Nice. All right, Brent, what you got going for us with Gamora? All right, so I'm gonna flip and reveal. So this is a card I can put in my hand. Nice. So I am going to play Decisive Blow to put down a Keen Instincts. And then I'm going to flip, and I'm going to use Keen Instincts to pay for Surprise Attack, which deals four damage because it's a punch. Nice. Don't forget your Retaliate. take one. Yep. And then I will play Pivotal Movement because there's no threat on the main scheme, so it deals five damage. Oh, wow. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, and then I will play Acrobatic Move, and I will take one and deal two, So, and then I will attack for two. All right, guys. I feel like I'm going to be the weak link here. <laughs> we'll see. So that's 26 damage. Yep. All right. So let's see. Did you draw your bow? Uh, I'm going to play yeah, for Fusilad. I'm going to pay for... A bow? I need to get... Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Which one to... Should I get rid of... I'm probably going to get rid of counter... Counterattack will pay for... Well, Yarn Bjorn... Okay. So I don't need to assess the situation. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to search for my bow. Search for the bow. And then that goes into play for free. Boom. So uh, spend one resource of any type to search for the bow. All right. Then I flip over. Then I'm going to pay two to do Fusilade. And you know, you you sure you don't want to plan the attack first before you flip? I, I'm you not going to plan the attack. I'm not going to plan the attack this time. I had just the resources uh, to do it without it. Uh, so deal five damage to an enemy. Because uh, don't, your, your, don't, don't your arrows, like, doesn't Vibranium arrow? And, yes, and but they're more card? expensive, and then I wouldn't be able to do all the other stuff that I wanted to do. I got the five damage. All right, so that's five damage. And then I'm going to put out, pay, plan an attack to put out Yarnbjorn. I'm going to attack for three, Yarnbjorn for two, uh, paying the fist resource for a total of five. Now, I do take the retaliate. Actually, I take two retaliate, right? Um, no, because yeah. you're ranged, right? Or not when you attack. Doesn't no. your bow? No, my arrows become ranged, unfortunately. No, his arrows are ranged, not him. So, but the Yarnbjorn damage doesn't get retaliated on, plus it killed him, so it didn't matter. But yeah, Fusilade did, right? Yep, my, I, I took two Retaliate. All right. Yeah. So that's turn one of well, a speed so, run. 
It won't go get his thing, huh? What was that? His gun. His machine gun. Oh, I got that. Yeah, that's the interesting part. Had we left him at, you know, two health, we wouldn't have got hit by the machine gun. So this this could be tricky. Do you want me to leave him well, at two health? I could have planned it that I mean, way, you so and I, I played, it, um, instead of saving that extra resource, I could have gone for the bow with that uh, one resource, keeping assess the situation for an extra card for my next hand. Would you rather me do that and leave probably him at two the health? Right call. Uh, probably our so, H our hit pulls. Probably what was that right call. Probably with the hit pull we have, it's the okay. right call. So let's do this. We know he has one attack, not two. Um, Without the retaliate. Right. So so we're good. He has two health left. We'll just know that. Make sense? The problem is, are you going to yeah. be able to do just two damage to flip him? That's the other question. You know what I mean? Are we... I can't. What was so, that? I can Laura, attack for... Oh, face, nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. So I'm going to draw six cards then, because I kept assess the situation rather than... Uh, so I got Fusilade. I got my Quiver. I got an Expert Marksman. None of these are great. Uh, explosive Arrows. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right, where are we at? Um, he is going to add three threats to the scheme. Then he is going to attack Terrence. He's taking it. Yep. So again, it's only one attack plus one is two. Yeah. All right. Brent, you taking it? Yep. One attack. Plus this two one, right? is three. Okay. Yep. And then I'm taking it also. So one attack plus two is three as well. One, two, three. All right, everybody. The other thing of note in standard is there's very few three boost cards. Right. When you play on standard. Go ahead and grab your encounter I, cards. Hey, yeah, I definitely got it. <laughs> Go ahead, Brent. Nice. Inside one. Oh no! What are we? Whatever are we gonna do with four threat? Oh no! Yeah. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> there it is! There it is! Wouldn't be Marvel Champions. It wouldn't be it. our game of Marvel Champions without it. That's for sure. So go ahead and do them one at a time. No cards, though, so it doesn't matter. So you get your nemesis first. Discard Nebula Ally from play. Well, we don't have to worry about that. Ah, uh, so we got this. Uh, players cannot remove threat from this. Uh, do 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 do. Force response after a villain phase begins. Deal one face down encounter card to Gamora. So wait, how do you get rid of this? I've never seen this before. Only I can get rid. Of yeah, only only um Gamora can thwart. So you it. get an extra encounter card every turn. Hey, guess what he I got? He gets rid of it. This that was that worked out. It's done. That worked out yeah. real well. So it gets, what, six counters on it? Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, what didn't work out real well, Shadows of the Past, of course, but, you know. Are we just ignoring her? I assume so. I mean... What's happening? Are you you're ignoring Gamora? Or are you killing her? Or... So... What I'll do is I will use Keen Instincts and my Surprise Attack to play Relentless Assault. And I'll hit your, I'll hit Terrence's minion for two, plus three to flip crossbones. Okay. All right. And then he would search for his his, um, machine gun. And then does he do anything else? I will attack him and double skilled strike. So that's six damage. And I take one, and then I'll flip, and I'll reveal my top card, and it is not. And I'm done. All right, so you're keeping Spider-Man? Oh, you, you don't have to decide. No, yet, this goes on. So, I do you all think I get my quiver? I have no idea. I've never thought about the speed run. Does it cost, cost one? one? I think I do, yes. right? Probably. Yes. <laughs> oh, there you go. Vibranium, that's the one we're looking for. 
There's, there's the ticket. Okay, so here's the thing. With Yarnbjorn, I can actually use Vibranium Arrow and um, Fusilot on this turn. Why would you not just use... Yeah. With Yarnbjorn? Well, because I have to exhaust Yarnbjorn, and I got, would have to exhaust the bow. Oh, I mean, you can always just ready it with Hawkeye. The bow? I mean, Hawk, Hawkeye can always... Well, I also it. don't have the resources. Yeah, take an attack. That, that, <laughs> therein lies the other issue. Now, I mean, I don't have to do both Vibranium nope. Arrow and Fusilade this One, turn. One, two, three, Wait, four. Wait, what? You can just pay for all that. You have enough Well, right, right, but then that. I can't pay for Yarnbjorn also, is my point. I mean, who cares about paying for Yarnbjorn? Well, that's what I'm saying. I use Yarnbjorn to, to do Fusilade. That way I can use my bow to use the Vibranium Arrow. Yeah, but like, but like, Yarnborn doesn't have to be ready for you to use Yarnborn. Oh, it doesn't well, matter yes. if it's exhausted. That is, you don't have enough resources to pay for. Both yes, though, correct. Right? So, yeah, yeah, he does. He has he has a strength strength for Vibranium Arrow, and then these. Two well, either way, Vibranium Arrow like... does six, right? So let's do that, and there's no retaliate on that. So down. To... Uh, I thought it was. That's where I got down it. to thirty. Um, then I'll pay these two resources to play for Fusilade, which is five. Exhaust Yarnbjorn. I will take a Retaliate, and then I will attack for three. Taking another Retaliate. And uh, pray to God, because uh, <laughs> I'm at two health, but obviously I'm flipping. Uh, the uh, cards that you got from the Quiver should get shuffled back in. Where did I that. put them? Did I discard them like an idiot? Sorry. Yeah. I, I was just saying to these guys before uh, I started... It's so hard for me to like pay attention to both the stream, the uh, doing all this stuff, and all right. So that that was four. Thank you for reminding me. Sorry about that. So that paid for this. Steve's got a good idea in the chat too. He's saying Spider Spider Woman with Counter Punch could be interesting in this because you could build her up to so many counters. Oh yeah. I still think it's hard to get her above like two most of the times. All right, Terrence. Why you only have two cards? Two or two? It's two counters. Gotcha. Uh, so I'm paying strength to put out combat training, and I'm just going to crushing blow for four, I think. Okay. And then attack for four. Yep. Do I flip down? Is that so? All the cool wait, wait. Going? He was twenty-two, yeah, and you didn't do yeah. anything yet, right? So it's twenty-eight, or I mean, eight, eight minus this. Yeah, it's eight off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a little d dangerous. I don't know with more people it should be okay, but, I mean, if he advances against all three of us or if he puts guards out, it becomes trickier. But, I mean, otherwise we can do 14 damage almost. I mean, yeah, I can't but imagine us not being able to do 14 damage. I, I might die, <laughs> but <laughs> it's all right. Might have to clear that retaliate. I've not had that retaliate very uh, Yeah, often, I got so. it last time I tried. The first time I did a speed run, first card out, too. So it's... it's so I, I'm flipping down? That's, that's Yeah, the... I think so. I mean, you draw more cards, right? That's the big benefit here. I mean, we're not going right. to lose to Scheme, so may as well. All right, so one, two, three on here. And then Brent, he goes against you with his two Scheme plus one more. So that's three, which does pop this one. No, it's... Oh yeah, three ten. Yeah, yeah, ten would pop it. All right. Uh, so, Brand also does get an additional card. Not right? yet though, right? At the phase, so yeah, you have to give it to him. Now. Oh, at the beginning of so, the Val Valve phase. Sorry about that. So it should have been it. that one actually. Probably but whatever. Whatever. Uh, so we are revealing another weapon for him, which does nothing. At least it wasn't the armor, right? Isn't that one of these? Yeah, there is an armor, which is five more hit points, which would have stunk. All right, so this is down to three, right? Now he keep... Uh, plus one for Nebula. Plus one for what? Nebula. What, whenever you do a new scheme? Nope, just she schemes right oh, after. Oh, I got does. you. I was so confused. I was like, what? All right, so uh, he's going to scheme for two more. Plus one is three. Wait, why is... why? Oh, that's never mind. I got it. That's uh, somebody else's. Whatever. Oops, sorry. That's all right. I grabbed it too. No worries. Uh, and then he's gonna scheme against Terrence as well. So two plus or one or no two plus one. So that's three. One two three. 
Yeah, I mean, we could have gone up to what, 18? All right, so Brent, go ahead and draw yep. a card. I get a card, Got it. Terrence gets a card, and you get a card, and you get a card. So there's an advantage. So, villain schemes, so that's two plus, two more is four. I mean, worst case scenario, he gets another thing, right? So there's the card that can be. Well, I don't think it's getting to your turn, hopefully. <laughs> right? I mean, it's 14 life. This is this is a speed run here. This card gain surge. Go away, card. I would like a new one. I don't really want a new one. Uh, the weapon, uh, the villain schemes. Uh, if they have a weapon attachment, this card gains surge. Oh, that feels real bad. <laughs> so schemes for low, low. Yes. All right. Uh, we're one away. <laughs> what you're saying is we got a chance. Oh, there you go. Oops. I literally grabbed it there's off a, of his weapon deck for no reason instead of off of uh, the main deck. Insight one. <laughs> you dog. You dog. All right, so that goes away. Hey, remember what I said about not losing this game? Yeah, yeah this happens to me typically that you just let him eat thwarts through all these because they start with stuff on. And all right, when revealed, reveal the top card of the... Please don't be the armor. It's the armor. Of course it is. I mean, what oh, no, 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 no. That's not one you have to keep I'm sorry. I thought there was one that gave him five hit points. That must be something else. Now, did my last card... Oh, no, my last card was this one. All right, Terrence, flip it. Insight one. And then you got to get him a weapon. All right. So what we're saying is he's got some weapons. No, 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 not from there. Oh, an experimental weapon. oh this is where the armor is. This is a weapon, right? Uh, attached to the villain. When the villain attacks, they get ranged. And plus one damage. All right. Well, I don't know that any of that matters. Uh, so is this a hero action? Yeah. I can't search. I guess I do plan of attack, right? So I draw seven cards. That seems good. Search out seven yeah. cards of your deck if you're an alter ego for an attack event and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. All right. So this time I will put them back in my deck. Oh, I thought that was the one. I was like, do I even need to look further? <laughs> but that was not the one. Do, 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 do. Vibranium. There we go. I'm just going to draw that. There's no reason to go further. Seems good, right? Yeah. Um, all right, so then I shuffle this up. I flip over. I mean, it's okay if I die, right? <laughs> we don't care. Is that what we're saying? I guess technically you can die. I think in the campaign you wouldn't get your upgrades. You wouldn't get a tech card. Uh, I'm, I'm doing that's my quiver now. I mean, down. that's three Sound damage. So I, I may actually be able to do this without dying. Um, I may actually be able to kill him. There you go. We'll see, because he's got... And the last hit doesn't exactly. retaliate. Well, that's what so I was you, thinking. Killing... I mean, an arrow attack doesn't retaliate, so there, you got that. We're right. For you. So let's go ahead and do one, two, to pay for my vibranium arrow. So that's six. I got you up okay. here. And then we'll pay... So do I just unexhaust that? I could skilled strike for five and then do two more. If we don't care about me dying, I could do it that way. Or yeah. I just do three damage sure. and nobody cares, right? I, I assume you'll be able to do five damage, Terrence. So I I'll just not die. Yeah. Ready yeah. myself. I got I got like nine. I got like nine. <laughs> I'll just ready my uh ready that, do this, and just hit him with a uh an arrow for uh three. Okay. Yeah, don't forget the stun, man. <laughs> That's the key. Yeah, he should be at five, right? I just took three off. No, I just took three yeah, off. Oh, you're off. right. You're right. He's at five. You're right. I was doing it for No, that's I okay. If you don't want me to, let me. Well, the only reason I, I do right. it is so that way people who are following along can see it too. Um, That's point. I was trying to help you out so you could do chat. No, I appreciate it. Look, how much chat have I done today? I got, I'm chatting with you fools. 
If people are wondering why I'm looking to my left, I have the chat up here on my phone. Nice. So <laughs> if I look like I'm completely uninterested in the game. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's it. Is it Terrence? Yeah. So limit of strength for hand cannon. So I don't know what happened, but Victor Von Soon Doom said, there it is, drink. I must have said boom, 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 or I must have said something. The uh, the OSCS <laughs> drinking game. Hey. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get you all drinking. <laughs> <laughs> skilled strike so that's three four five seven nine all right so he's way dead so i can kill your high i can kill your guard oh and uh, overkill uh, and then overkill. nice all Good right five. so that's game one we did it on turn three i i feel like it should be turn 2.7 uh 2.6 repeating right because we didn't get the last uh the last uh character in so maybe we do... Well, get your decimal calculator out here. For count. All right. So with that being said, Brent, I think you should start the next game. Does that make sense? We'll just do it that way. So whoever didn't get their turn. All right, guys. We're going to keep going. Oh, drink for shadows, bro. We're not adding in this, the tech cards. But one of the fun parts if you're playing solo is you get the tech card that either draws five cards or the one that puts... Nick Fury into play and draws three cards for you. Yeah, so we're not, and then cast in. we're not doing um, the campaign campaign. By the way, just so everybody's like, what are you guys doing here? Um, just because it'll take too long to figure out upgrades and stuff like that. We're trying to get in as many games as possible. Um, so let's see. Set up discard cards from the encounter deck until an environment is discarded. Put that card into play and shuffle the encounter deck pile and the encounter deck. By the way, uh. Steve from Beat the Game reminded me to drink for Shadows. By the way, I believe that is finish your drink when Shadows comes up for the uh, OSCS drinking game. Which is uh, a thing. <laughs> Wait, is this a thing? No, this is a side scheme. So, I actually need to switch my deck here because my pivotal moment doesn't do a lot against him. So, I'm going to pull because pivotal he six. Moment pivotal moment out because he starts with six and i have to ah, clear it all finally got an environment so i'm gonna pull two of those and i'm gonna put clobber and counter uh um, counter in what is that counter you've thought of this yeah. way more than i have oh by the way oh uh, oh I, I guess I, i've got about 90 speed runs i guess so. i don't want to spoil this too much <laughs> but i'm gonna spoil a little bit did you notice on the there's a new card that came out in the new set um so for those, I'm not really spoiling a whole lot, but it says if there is no stage number, count it as one. Because remember when I built yeah. that deck when we played uh, Wrecking Crew, that literally did nothing because half of my cards were look at the stage number, um, and there are no stage numbers on Wrecking Crew. So they actually fixed that with the new card that comes out. It says if there is no stage number, it counts as one. So I thought that was neat that. Is that an errata ruling or just right? I don't know. For that card, for sure. I didn't look, you know, it's not even out yet. So that's coming out in Mad Titan Shadow. But, all right, Brent, you're going to be first player. Do we need to do any other setup? After resolving uh, step one of the villain phase, place one delay counter here. Uh, when the environment enters play, discard each other environment card in play. All right, so what is this? This is a metal environment. Force response after absorbing men makes an undefended attack against you. Discard one resource icon from your hand. Two resource icons instead if oh. there are five or more delay counters. Well, that's not great. Wow. So the funny part is he's the toughest person to beat in three turns. I mean, it sounds like it already. So which is such a fun, right? Because normally people say Absorbing Man is so boring, right? They don't like Absorbing Man. He's too easy. He doesn't make sense outside the campaign. And then all of a sudden when you're doing speed runs, he's the toughest one. He has the most health, and he deals these effects like you lose a resource. Is By the way, I got two running. skill strikes and a Vibranium Arrow in my opening head. So, yeah. Uh, I do have toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Why do I have toe-to-toe -to -toe in my deck? Terrence... You convinced me to put toe to toe. What? Why? I have nine health. Why do I have toe to toe in my deck? Because it's because it's five damage on the last turn, I, right? But if you survive, right. how's that going to happen? But we don't care. We don't care if you survive. <laughs> Everyone else. Well, no, does. no, no. But if you stun him. Oh, care. good call. All right, yeah. fine. Yeah, you have. There you go. I got an electric arrow. Look at that. Although I'm not using it, but that's fine. 
I also have Mockingbird, who I'm also not right, using. So, uh, we just need that little counter. We're on turn one. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, oh, oh. Um, do, 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 do. We're actually on turn three, right? So this would be... Oops, what am I doing? Okay, we're doing total turns. Gotcha. So it'd be turn four. I mean, we're doing total turns, right? That's... Sure. That's how this, yeah. that's how this works. I'm, I'm new to this. Yeah. I, I'm the rookie here. Yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out, because I have this counter cross counter and this surprise attack, but I have Spider-Man, so I might use... I think I use one of my skilled strikes. I don't know. I subtract four damage to play Spider-Man, but then I have Spider-Man to deal more damage, so I think that's better. So I'm going to flip, and I'm going to use so skilled not... strike to play surprise attack. So that's four? So I deal... Four damage. Well, I mean, it makes sense. Absorbing man is intended to slow down the game, right? To get more counters here. He by far is the most life, I feel like. Well, maybe not the most, but he has quite a bit of life. So it kind of makes sense that he's one of yeah. the hardest. Like, he's literally his shtick is delaying you. And then I'm going to use... Do you get to remove a thwart for playing surprise? Yeah. One thwart comes off the main scheme. I will use these three to play... Miles Morales and pump him up two and attack with him for four. Yep. Then I will attack for two plus skilled strike is four. Down to 30. There you go. That's 12 on turn one. That's that's nothing to sneeze yeah. at. Yeah, no, she's pretty good at it. Uh, so let's see. I don't know what the question is, uh, but uh, Victor or Steve says if you attack, use attack cards like Counterpunch, it doesn't discard Brute Force. Oh, right, right, right. Yep. So if you had that Brute Force in front of you, you use an attack card to attack with your... I, I get what that where that's coming from. All right, so I'm going to get rid of Mockingbird to get my bow. I should probably do that earlier. <laughs> So we don't have to watch this. Uh, all right. And then... Let's see. Well, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. I, I couldn't play Mockingbird no matter what. I was going to say, is Mockingbird better than keeping uh, Electric Arrow? But doesn't matter. All right. So I'm paying two for Vibranium Arrow. So that's six. Oops. I guess I got to flip first. So one, two, three, four, five, six... And then, so the question here is: Is the stun worth the extra card? Oh no, it's only three damage. Yeah, no, 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 definitely not. I'm definitely playing two skilled strikes for seven more damage, right? Yeah. Yep. I mean, that feels way better, and I think I get rid of electric arrow. Yeah. I mean, the only question, yeah, because I'm going. If you draw a toe to toe, you have more than one toe to toe in there. I think so. And then also the press the Oops. advantages. If you put those in, let you draw a card. What did I just do? I don't know. I just hit some reset. Just I've never even seen that before. Uh, you pulled the cards into your deck. Yeah. Well, let me search for what it was it that I had a vibranium arrow. No, the stunning one. Yeah, electric uh, arrow and bow. Oh, it, it put my I bow back in too. Oh, come on. You yeah. hit G, I think. Which. Yeah, my bad. At least I didn't hit GG. Uh, so what were we looking for toe to toe? I do have no, two no, more toe to toe for in my electric deck. arrow. No, we're trying to decide if okay. I should keep the stun arrow in my hand. All right. Yeah, I'm not certain. It seems okay. It's two for three. I mean, it's the the, the uh, worst part would be if I don't draw another arrow, right? That that's the biggest negative. Uh, but. I have cards to search for arrows. I have other stuff, so it should be all right. So what are you doing? Oh, plan of, plan attack. of attack. Nice. I'm sad that Hulk Smash is not an attack. Right? Feels like it should be. You have two of them? Well, you, you kind of didn't want them back to back, so I guess that's good. You got that going for you. Hulk Smash. Uh, I, I take I take toe to toe, right? It's the only one. I, it's the only one I see. Yeah. That is weird that Hulk Smash isn't an attack, although I guess it's already attack by being yeah. 
part of an attack, but yeah. Well, yeah, that's probably why. There. All right, so suborbital leap pays for brute force flip. Uh, oh wait, do I not? No, I don't pay for brute force, right? Oh, so you can pay for toe to toe. I pay for toe to toe. I mean, you could use one of your skilled yeah. strikes. Um, that's not worth it oh, for yeah. one damage. Losing two like damage to pay to get just... pay one is not yeah. smart. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna skill strike for seven. Seems good. He's down to ten. And then I'm going to toe to toe, and then I have to discard a card after I take this yeah. damage. Perfect. Three, of course. So that's five total damage. That's, that's what happened last time I toe to toed. Try and teach me a lesson. Right. We lost our chat, or I did. I haven't seen anybody say anything for a while, so hopefully people are still with us. I hope I didn't scare people no, off. No, no, I think we, we, we haven't been watching. as responsive to the chat as we normally are, just because there's three of us. We're trying to play fast so we can get through as many games as possible. So um, I apologize for that. But, um, yeah, so that's turn one. So let's go ahead and add... Uh, whoa. Oh, no, not super player. Just three to the uh, main scheme. And then we will have him... Oh, what does this do? Makes an undefended attack, discard a resource card from your hand. Oh, so we got to draw cards. Oh, this, this is so sad. So sad. I have to discard a card for an undefended well, attack. Well, maybe I mean, you can, defend. Wait, can Spider-Man chump for me? Can Spider-Man chump for me? Cause you, yeah, because sure. you have Hulk Smash. We can't have Hulk you smash? lose that. We're losing a little damage, two damage, or four damage, but... Well, here's the interesting part, though. I almost need him to jump for me because I have two fighting fits that I can play uh, if I'm at full health. All right, well, I'll block for one of you, <laughs> which sounds like the dumbest thing ever, but whatever. Let's do it. What do you have that you need to play? Oh, you I, just would like, I would like to play Hulk Smash because that's plus 10 damage. I mean, yeah, it might actually make sense. To I mean, I that. don't have a great hand, right? Um, I probably won't die. So it'll be fine. I'll just block for you guys. <laughs> I may need you to return the favor on the last turn, or I'll just be dead, and that'll be fine too. All right, so I will block for Brant. Hawkeye. You know he likes to be far away from... No, no, no. Right? Hawkeye's fine. So he goes in, takes two. Do I have to discard a card for that? Yeah. No. Oh, only if it's undefended. Oh, no, it's right? not undefended. All right, so <laughs> um, my, my attack's going to be undefended. So then he attacks me. So that was a boost of one. I have my defense of one here. So it's fine. We're good. So he's attacking me for two. Plus, reveal this card. The ball. Yeah. Okay. So I take, uh, what? Oh, does that go on right away? So I take three damage? Yeah. That's fine, yeah. Absorbing Man. And I will discard a resource. Don't worry about that. Oh, this should be at one as well, right? Oops. Yep. I think I get rid of explosive arrow. No, I'll get rid of sonic arrow. That one's never getting yeah, used. Yeah, just, just put it to the side. All right, and then I'm having Spider-Man block for Hulk. Yep. Thank you. I mean, he's dead, right? <laughs> yep. So that's three. Four. Oh yeah, four. Good call. But there's an interesting part of playing with three people and being able to block for each other. I mean, just showing more of that cooperation hey, this is one stop co-op shop this isn't one stop who's your daddy shop coop shop <laughs> coop shop coop sh the coop chat is a little old place where all right go ahead uh steve says snubbing you uh steven johnson says we don't want to confuse peter with too much going on you are right about that let me tell you i'm not so that yeah that before. did not work i took three damage <laughs> Uh, well, you take four, right? Because it he has metal trait. Okay, yeah. Either way, I'm not at full health, so these fighting fits are not very good. Oh, man. All right. Well, we tried, right? We tried. Uh, oh, we got stone environment. By the way, the, just in time for metal to job you. Now we have stone. Uh, now what does it do? After absorbing men makes an undefended it attack. Heals them. Uh, heal one damage from him, two instead if there are five or more delay counters. Well, we're not going to have to worry about that. But we do have to worry about this. That one's a mess, too. 
When defeated, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion. Yeah. I mean. It's not happening tonight. Three damage for me, no, I think. We just switched it? Yep. Yes, we did switch it. All right, so this click clicks up to five. Is that true? What clicks up to five? Yeah. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Is there is there any way we can do the five before I go? No, um, because I have garbage yeah. poo poo hand. I play fighting fit. I can play fighting fit and electric arrow, right? Deal two, and then electric arrow will be the other. Wait, three. somebody can do two. I can do fighting fit. Fighting fit is just very sad now. Yeah, it's more like a crying fit. <laughs> yeah. Do two damage to the villain. Ah, got it. All right. I mean, stun still. Yeah, nice. no, I'm definitely stunning, which is good because that way I don't I'm die. The two off and I'm getting the one. So yeah. do I pay play the two power of regressions? I, I think I play explosive arrow. I got to get something good next turn, right? Do three and stun. All right. So we do advance him. Me... We do stun him. I'm I'm keeping power. Of of aggression. I just feel like I got to get a good card aggression card next turn. So you have to get super absorbing power out, right? The side scheme. Oh. Is it called super absorbing yeah, super power? Because it doesn't seem to be in there. Uh, super absorbing. Is the, oh, it was in the discard. Absorb. That's why. I remember seeing that. Yep. The super absorbing power is a little low place where. So this is the one where he counts as having all of them. Yep. Yeah, but we're all gonna flip down. So are we matter. flipping down? I didn't flip down. Oh, you're not. I flipping mean, he's down? stunned, okay. right? I mean, we don't want to lose to ski. Get more cards. I, I guess it's not probable, but it has to go to three six. <laughs> I mean, you remember what happened last game, uh, right? You did see where we went through two schemes in one turn. <laughs> I'm going to Hulk smash. And attack for 13. I mean, that feels good. Hulk smash. Uh, should I flip down? Yes. The only problem is, well, I mean, it's not a problem, but I might die. If he gets an uh, attack on me. I don't know why you didn't. You just seem like you want to stay flipped uh, up. So I'm, I'm staying flipped up. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to tank it. I mean, I, I could stay flipped up if you want. If you want to Well, down. he's stunned, right? So he's probably not going to attack. Famous last words. All yeah. right, I'm staying up. Let's do this. This, this will be a drink till the end of your drink again. Cap, Cap's so, going down on the ship. Or, I can play this forward momentum to get rid of five threat if you flip down. You can uh, surpass the, uh, whatchamacallit? Oh, right. I'd have to get rid of it here, so it doesn't really help that us. That does not help yeah. us. Although it does one damage. Good job. <laughs> well, no, I'm not going to play it. Yeah, so you're painting two for... I'll play fit instead. Which doesn't feel very good. I remember threat. So that's two. So I probably I got rid of one threat, but it should have been here. So I'm gonna go correct that. Okay, I took his two off. And then I'll attack yep. two, flip down and reveal to see if I get an attack event. And it's Hulk. Oh, which I shouldn't have in the deck. That's my bad. It's fine. All right, ready up. Wait, you shouldn't have Hulk because we have Hulk. And actually, the... All right. yeah, that was just dumb on my part. Uh, yeah, I put Hulk in originally too. All right, I do have a fusillade. All right. Oh, and a counterattack. There you go. Counterattack, baby. <laughs> God, that's such a stupid deck right now. Too late. All right. All right. So three. One, two, three. Then he is going to try to attack me. Failed, buddy. Then he's going to scheme against Terrence for two plus one is three. Plus one. Four. Um, then he's going to scheme against Brent for three plus put this card into play. So this goes away. So this is an undefended attack again, right? All right. Uh, All right. So that's just three yeah, this time, card. right? 
Yep. All right. Well, if we don't kill him this time, I might have to flip down. I mean, there's no might about it. Like, yeah. if we don't kill him, I'm flipping down. <laughs> um, all right. Where are we going? So, to Terrence, right? Oh, no. We got to take encounter cards. This game would be way easier if we didn't have to take encounter cards, guys, by the way. When revealed, what is he? I mean, I can deal 10 damage. It looks like you can deal 10 damage, so it's really on. Guess what? I have to exhaust my identity. To deal 10 no, yes, all of them. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's, that's the other issue with staying flipped up. Well, why does that matter? No. Oh, <laughs> it literally it has nothing to do with anyway. anything. Um, all right, Stone, tough, huh? give him a face down boost card. And Wood, discard a card at random from your hand. I mean, that's the least bad one of all of them. I'm getting rid of counterattack. Cause... Unless it's Fusilad. Huh? It's at random or just a card? Wait. No, it's, it's a card, right? Card, card. Random. Oh, man. Random. Do not be Fusilad. That would make... And even Cable Arrow would make me angry. I don't I don't know. Ooh, I can shuffle while it's in my hand. That's pretty cool. All right. Oh, so we don't have to do it. Oops. Oh, I got would have gotten rid of my double resource. Everybody saw where my hand was. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop touching me! <laughs> Stop touching me! All right. Sweet. No, no. I lost strength. Why are you touching my stuff? Oh. Get off my stuff! That was the random card I discarded. So what happened here? Oh, my gosh. All right. So I drew Dense Force. So this goes into play. Surged into Assault, which surges into an advance, which then I think I should reveal yep. both of these. So three, three, six, two thirds. Back. Yeah. See, you guys were all like, "Oh, you could flip over. It's fine. It's not fine." <laughs> oh my gosh, so much, so much. Just two indirect damage, right? What was that? Two, two indirect, indirect damage. damage. I mean, you say just. Yeah. So these. The interesting part is if you get the experimental weapons in the campaign, like you get three of them, they get shuffled in, and they're actually cards that you want to draw because they don't right. do anything. The retaliate one is a little tricky, but they just say, oh, now the villain is stronger when they never attack you again. Right. <laughs> so it actually helps all right, to get so Terrence, you're weapons. first. And I am doing five damage and flipping down, and that is all I am able to do, sadly. That's all you're able to yeah. do? is five so if you guys can do 25 we're good one i'm like 12 so terrence all you need is 13 are these all in front of you 13 what's going on here no these oh, are you're drawing for seven. uh plan of attack yeah is that a hulk smash yeah that's not an attack right yeah Oh right, you can't take it. Which stinks. That would have been that would have been the move right there. And you got a triple resource too. You could, you could double toe to toe and block one of them, I guess. Yeah, I should have kept my counter attack. I mean crushing blow doesn't seem terrible. Right. Agreed. Yeah. Take crushing blow, probably. I think so. I mean, either that or toe to toe. If you it's, think you can handle the the attack, well, he's got Only one toe to toe already. The problem is you have a triple resource, man. That would be sweet if you could. If there was a three. Yeah, well, now he can just get. What can you do? Draw the top card. Now, uh, yeah. So shuffle first, but yeah. But he could draw it. I Come mean. on! Come on! Course. Which is, de I mean, the problem is you just don't have resources for everything. Yeah, I think I just, do I get rid of, yeah, it's one of these two. Because hand cannon, you can actually play. Um, yeah, I think you're going to toe-to-toe -to -toe and hand cannon, and that's it probably, right? Uh, can you, you can't ping him, right? Oh, to get rid of tough. I mean, I yeah. can shoot him. Oh, my! Do my arrows pierce? They don't, right? 
Oh, never mind. No. Nope. Oh wait, maybe that's why I keep this. Brute force has pierce. Oh, there you go. That makes sense actually. So you think I pay for brute force with crushing blow? I. I and then what maybe do I do? Hand cannon. Yes, toe to toe with the hand cannon. Oh. Yeah, I think you're gonna. I or think you're not gonna do hand cannon. Sadly, sadly, even though. Right. Because just because you have to do brute force, right, and attack. Right, because machine blow and toe to toe do more damage anyway. So you're gonna just. So do I use? Do, so I pay for this. So I use hand. It cannon doesn't matter, that? dude. You have to discard at the end of the turn. You're doing, you're doing that, and you're doing toe to toe, and that's it, right? So it doesn't mm -hmm. really matter what you use to pay for what. Like, uh, why would I do toe to toe? Five damage. Right, but crushing blow is four, and I don't take it in the face. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that's fine. You could do it. Good, good, good call. Damage. Good call. Yeah, I mean, with with our remaining health, it's not the worst idea. Right. I was just maximizing damage to see if we could win in three turns. But if we want to put winning above maximization then yes that would be the better move well i mean it's literally winning one is the ultimate. different but first you have to attack first and you have to be flipped because you have to attack oh so that's the problem it's not four damage turns because because oh, right, crushing right. blow would not get um would not get the pierce so that's the key I mean, you could also do hand cannon. It's plus two attack twice. Are we fin I guess are we finishing this turn? I don't no, think right? so. I mean, uh, two, I'm three, doing five. four, five, and seven is twelve. I think I have twelve damage. Twelve plus my five is seventeen. Unless you're doing thirteen, which you're not, then don't worry about it. I would say actually put hand cannon in. I think you're right. That's four damage right, over two I get turns. It over two turns. Yeah. Why not? Right. I, I just don't think it's possible. Like I. With me defending and all that stuff, I just, I don't see it. All right, so then I, I'm attacking, right? Yep. Uh, so that is four, five, six, right? Plus get rid of tough. Yep. I knew those brute forces were in for all a right, reason. So how many do you do? There you go. Six plus remove tough. Six? That feels pretty good for a Hulk, yeah. <laughs> for Hulk, I love I love the uh, for Hulk. Uh... Well, I just it's just like I mean like all you're doing is like one thing, right? Yeah. It's just like if what you did was six damage and base and remove the tough for everyone else, that feels. It does. I mean, good. look, it's better than what I'm doing. I'm literally doing five damage this turn, and that's it. Like a real, you're like a real hero. Is yep. it me? It's you. It is you. All right. So I draw my forward momentum into my hand, then I'm gonna play Nebula. And she lets me go get any card, right? So I will go get Decisive Blow. Um, here it is. This deals seven if I do if I remove threat first. Which you can for zero. So given that we're not trying to defeat him, it probably makes sense for me to heal instead of attack for two, yes. right? Probably. Unless you don't care about dying, but Yeah, I, I guess it all you know depends. So now we've kind of just said we're gonna do this in four turns, not three. Which is fine. I mean, well I just don't think we yeah, can. Yeah, I don't think it's would. possible with me having if sure, I sure. didn't get exhausted by the stupid event, it would have been a different ball game, but I did get exhausted by the event and had to discard a card. I mean I just got killed by that one stupid event and he got tough. Right? Uh, I also feel like your hand wasn't super great besides Fuselot. He's just tough. He's hard to beat in three turns. He's got way too much health. Yeah. He has 29 health per player. So, All right, so I'm going to do set the pace to remove one threat from the Hydra Patrol and deal one damage to him. Did you do any of that? And then I will decisive blow using... Did you remove any threat Hold. or damage? Nope, I didn't okay, do either. I did it. All right. 
And then I'll play Decisive Blow, which deals 7 damage because I played a Thwart event. Nice. And it also gets rid of one threat. You take it off Hydro Patrol again? And then I will play Counter Attack. Say it again? You took it off of uh, Hydro Patrol again? And then I'll play Counter Attack, and Nebula will attack for 2. What does Counter Attack do? Deals damage to the villain equal to what they deal to you. Oh, that's a preparation. You just keep it in play. Yep. Nice. All right. I mean, sadly, all I'm going to play is Fusilad this turn. For five. You can play, you can play Counterattack and go down, dying. Would that go off? You don't no. need to. After you're dead. What was that? Yeah. No, you should play... Do you just play Cable Arrow? I can, can I don't have a bow. So I'll put counterattack out, but it's up. useless just to get it out of my hand, I mean. Yeah. So, because I got to flip down. There's no way. No way. Well, technically, yeah, I don't know. Technically, I mean, I can block with Nebula. Technically, we're, technically we're counting hero turns, right? So oh. if we don't kill next turn, uh, in theory, we can come on the villain turn. Well, if we, if we could have killed him on the villain turn, yes. He can't though because if he dies, he can't right, play counterattack. You can't that's play the problem because it's after you take damage from an enemy attack. And after I took yeah. damage, I would be dead. Okay. All right, so we're going up three. I hope we don't lose the scheme here. That would be sad. Um. All right, so he is going to attack you, Terrence. So you just taking it. Yep. So it's three plus nothing. So I'm going to yep. step in. I'm going to play counterattack and defend. I'm sorry, I'm going to play, what is this one called? Cross counter. If you take any amount of damage. So I will block the three. And then remove a threat. Remove two threat and deal two damage. Although I don't think we really no, want I to don't. clear that, so just remove three. Oh, I forgot to add one more from here, by oh. the way. So remove two. Yeah, remove two threat and deal two damage. Okay. All right. Almost almost could do it. Did What was your boost card? No, that was yours, so you shouldn't take three damage. I defended uh, for you. Yeah, so get your damage back. Oh, I see. He played uh, cross counter. Do you have to declare that before I choose to defend? No, it says when you would so. take any amount of damage. But that means you have to be defending. Ah, uh, he would right? have to be uh, the target. Okay. So you I would have to exhaust. Right. I do get that. the trigger. The trigger would have happened like you would have declared you were the defender, right? It's like kind of like backflip, which kind of sucks. Okay, so which I could just steal the two damage, so it doesn't make any sense. All right, sense. I'm adding so the two mind. damage back to him, adding the two threat back. Uh, is he at nine? I added two back, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's he was real close to Oh, that. yeah, yeah, no. I mean, we are we almost had him. Yeah. All right, so it's it's your turn now. So go ahead, and he's going to attack you for three. I'll just take it. Are you going to block? Oh, well, you don't mm -hmm. have to decide yet. So that's four. If he has stone or wood trait, you are stunned, so you are stunned. Oh, which, not great. So you may want to do that to pre prevent three thing because this is just going to go away anyway, right? Can I prevent being stunned? Yeah, it would prevent you from being stunned. It would basically delete the whole card. Gotcha. All right, so I guess I play this and I won't do my counterattack. That's poor timing. Yep. But, I mean, if we can't... I mean, it's pretty good because you get to maximize... You can maximize your counterattack. Yeah. Wait, cross counter basically removes the stun, right? And then you can counter attack. But I took zero damage, so I would counter attack for zero. No, it it removes the entire card. So this, because because this is an attack, so you it the stun replaces the entire text of the card. So you still take more damage. Wait, what? Oh, it ignores I'm this really card because it's an attack card. Yes. Because it's 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 in a replace effect, right? So it places the entire. Uh, card. Uh, I so, see what you're saying. I'm stunned, and the cross counter cancels. Got it. The yes, and yes, and I take full damage. Yeah, and then you can counterattack now because got you're not it. stunned. And 
remove one threat. I yeah, I, I, I asked about this in the rules section on Discord, and I was like, does that, is that what this does? Because that feels real bad. Well, on a speed uh, run, it doesn't, though. But it may... Yeah, no, but, like, just generally, it feels bad, but, like, it is... It's not clear if you Oh, gosh, second, guys. Right, so... He's two what away happened? from winning from uh, Scheme, is what just happened. He's three... He what did drew he draw? three. Uh, so if I get an advance, or if anybody gets an advance, we're done. Yeah. All right. Pray to God. Place one throw on the main scheme for every two delayed counters. So that's one. <laughs> Is that all? Insight one. Are we you lose. kidding me? <sighs> it's hard to win in four turns when you don't get rid of threat. That's the other challenge. I guess I should have stayed up and Nebula could have chumped for me. That would have been the other option. Yeah. I didn't even draw my card. Oh, I did yep. draw my cards. Yeah, I guess I should have stayed up and had Nebula chump for me. Right, or just having five more damage would have been a big difference. Or just not dying. <laughs> or just, like, being okay with dying, I guess. Yeah. Close. Oh, man. All right, so we said we're going to reset this, though, right? Yeah. Um... So we lose all those turns. We lose all that. So there should be some kind of penalty at the end. But we'll figure it out. So whose turn would it have been next? Yeah, I mean, we're not doing the campaign, so I don't know that it matters yes. that Well, much. this is just for fun, right? To show, Or do we just want to move on? Because we would have killed him the next turn, right? Do we just want to move on? That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. We're showing it off. Let's just I'm fine show it off. It. It's you guys. Um, but... We'll give ourselves... Here we go. Because we lost, we would have won the next turn for sure, right? So we'll give ourselves a one penalty for that. So in next turn would have been seven. We'll go to eight. Is that right? Okay. So we're at six. Our next turn would have been seven. We'll give us a one penalty and one for starting this game. <laughs> so we're at nine. I don't know if that's all right. It, uh... that, that's... Steve is saying we would remove a threat from cross counter, but I don't think we would because it got canceled. Yeah. I mean, you could do it the other way where you could have used the counter attack. No, because the cross yeah. counter goes first. Because right? it's after you yeah. take damage. Yeah, we couldn't remove threat. And we from couldn't the main because speed. of the stupid patrol or whatever in front of it the whole game. Yeah, I mean, maybe you should not play fuselage and just play cable arrow if you're going to flip down. And I think at some point I probably could have got rid of that scheme because I had a um, I had a relentless assault, in which case I could have killed mine and I done mean, three damage through. Actually, Terrence been... is exactly right there. I should have played ca Cable Earn instead of Fusilade. Then um, Cause we, could we could have, have done, done 14 damage next, next round. You right? don't need to so, it out. Yeah, that's yeah so yeah. That, that was my mistake, guys. So uh, you're exactly... I did ask why you didn't play Cable Arrow. Wait, who said that? I oh. That's why you chose Because I don't to listen to you, instead. Terrence. I mean, that's typical. <laughs> and I totally play cocky because I'm I'm like, well, I want to deal all the damage and kill in three turns. Otherwise, I don't care when I play by myself. Right. You know, I'm trying to do it in three turns, so I just go for it. <laughs> but that's just, you know, shuffling your own cards and playing at your house. All right, this is actually a pretty good first turn. Uh, almost no matter what I draw. Oh, wow, <laughs> except for that. I got lots of resources to pay for nothing. Um, interesting. So who's go I'm gonna drop Hulk and put who's going first in. this game? I guess I'll go Just first this game. You guys each went first the game. I'll go first this game, right? Uh, so do we have anything after resolving step one of the villain phase? Each player in here, uh, hero form must choose to either place a threat token here or take a damage. If this stage is completed, players lose the game. Yeah, fighting fit is bad for me here because I have to take damage set when I flip. Each I captive forgot. Ally side. Oh, we have to set allies. Wait, what? Oh, that's these. No, it's the captain. Oh, these applies. are good. I like these. I remember these. They made me want to uh, uh, thwart, thwart. A Mac dad made me want to thwart, thwart. All right, so I'm going to do plan of attack. Look at my top seven cards. 
Oh, wait, wait. I guess I should get my bow first, right? Can you clone this card for me? Because I'm not able yep. to clone it. Boom. Oh, you're taking out Hulk? Why would you do that? Oh, you can't clone it because you're searching right now. <laughs> That's the only reason. When you're searching, you oh, can't gotcha. copy and paste. All right. So I'm going to first search for my bow. So let's do that. Wait, what? Where's my bow? Am I not searching my deck? What's going on here? I don't have my bow. You're missing cards. 32, oh no, 35. Is it in your discard pile? I don't... Oh, that was my bow? There it is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I thought that was... Did you discard it? <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, so there goes that. Well, I'm allowed to do that, though, right? I can pull from my discard pile? Yeah. So that's fine. It all worked out the same in the end. Because in the end, it doesn't even matter. So I'm going to search through seven. Wow. Huh. So none of this is great. I don't even, I didn't get an attack in event in all these cards. Wow. That happened to me just what now. was that? So that just happened to me too. Yeah, I just had seven cards, drew no attack events, and I'm sitting here with a bunch of resources in my hand and nothing else. So I guess I'm just attacking with two skill strikes for seven. That was garbaggio. Are you keeping, I'm keeping those? one of my double resources? Right? What do you think? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know what it's like to keep cards. So. <laughs> But when you flip up, you need to take a, a boost worth of damage. Yeah. No, I don't. Ha ha. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's Taskmaster? Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to flip. Steve says that the passive ability on uh, Gamora would trigger even if the event doesn't happen, even if it gets canceled. Uh, what does it say? You may include up to... Right, but it doesn't really matter because we had crisis yes, correct. token. Yeah, no, it's true for here. But after you play an event, so not after an event resolves, yes. so that yeah, could yes. be true. Yeah, yeah. so true. we should have done the one yeah. and one, but again, it wouldn't have mattered because we had the stupid crisis. All right, I'm flipping, took my one damage. Uh, I'm attacking for three. Uh, Victor Von Doom reminded uh, me of something good here. Oh, Wasteland Sniper. Wow, they're all giving me good songs. Criss Cross will make you jump, jump. That's for you, Wasteland Sniper. Victor Von Doom, the Humpty Dance is your chance to do the hump. All right. <laughs> oh, pretty baby. Nice. Uh, See? So six, six damage. Okay. And then toe to toe. For what? Three more? three uh and he hits me for of course what what every Five. time every time first turn <laughs> toe to toe three boosts did you say there's like not that many three boosts i feel like i have a hundred percent so you did right five now. more right a lot yeah five more at least reduced by two right are the expert cards so on two of the so expert hold on cards? show me so you did toe to toe for five and then you did this for three i gotcha yeah, I ready myself and yep. attacked cool. twice. So I did Yo, 11 damage. damage. He's got 21 left. I My first turn was right. Garbaggio. I pull a clobber into my hand, and then I use Decisive Blow uh, to play Keen Instincts. I'm one off. Darn it. So Steven... Steven uh, no, uh, Johnson got a kick out of my uh, singing, I think. <laughs> Steve, for I just use acrobatic move to play Keen okay. Instincts, and then I use Decisive Blow to play this surprise, surprise attack, so I deal eight damage. You, nice. And then I clobber for three. I can't play it as my first card, because when I flip, I have to trigger the other ones. That's why I just have to play it. And then two more is five more. So I should have done eight plus five is 13. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I so already did left. the eight. So. so five more. 
He was at 21. Yeah. So how much damage was that supposed to be total? 13? Yeah, that's correct. 13. And then I just need... I'm going to flip my own boost. And I take zero damage. Dang it. So those fighting fits would have worked. I mean, don't be <laughs> mad. They'll work next turn, right? Oh, because I'll get hit. Oh, yeah. Good call. Um, all right. So by the way... You guys, uh, Steve from Beat the Game said, on that note, I'm signing off. His ears are bleeding. Steven Johnson reminds me, can't touch us. Down, now, now, now. Down, now. Now, now. <laughs> Victor Von Doom says, too legit. Too legit to quit. Yeah, I even did the hand motions for those of you who, who could see that. That was that was on point right there. By the way, just blame Steven Johnson and uh, Victor Von Doom for all of my singing tonight. We're just going to keep it going. This like, It's like a jukebox. You put a coin in, and I'm just going to keep singing. Uh, <laughs> you doing some Swift what tonight, was that? there, Peter? Taylor Swift. Uh, Swift I, that, that might be out of my range, but I, I, wouldn't wouldn't be the first time I've uh, sang some uh, T Swifty. All right, so he's attacking me for two plus one would be three. We all have to add a threat to the main scheme or take a damage. Uh, I mean, we've lost to the scheme the last couple times, and if we want to flip. That might not be the best thing. I don't know. What do you think? Sure, I'll take one. You probably should put right. a threat on. Hooky Hook and the Funky Bunch? Yep. Uh, just eating it? Sorry, Wasteland that's, Sniper. That's I don't know does, Black right? Betty. <laughs> that's a request I don't know. I need a tip jar. Black Betty, ram, 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 Black Betty, ram, nice. ram, ram. There you go. All right. I don't know that one, yeah. so I'm glad we have uh, Brant here. We've got uh, we've got my. Uh, it's like a dueling piano bar. I didn't know the song, so I passed it over to you. <laughs> All right, where are we at, Terrence? Uh, you get attacked. Oh, it's I'm Brent's sorry. Attack. Uh, they stopped making playmats. I feel like they did, right? Have they? Just for now yeah. or forever? Oh, yeah, because they, they uh, put it out to somebody else, right? Oh, I see what you're saying, because... MG neck, two. Two boosts. Uh, four tank. Got it. All right. All right. Cards. Cards, 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 cards. Sorry. Here, that one's yours. Oh, son of a... <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> What does he do? He steals what's her name from you? And then does he have retaliate or anything? Crossfire? He's quick strike. Let's start with that. So that's yeah. two. Uh, then that's it. That's then rude. this comes in play. I mean, hopefully I never get attacked again, but uh, <laughs> That's Clint Barton cool. player searches their hand deck and discard pile for Mockingbird and places her face up beneath this card. When the stage is defeated, return. I mean, we don't really care about that part. I love how they're like, by the way, take an enemy and a five thwart whatever. Um. All right. So, after, hold on, Terrence. Let me get Mockingbird. Not that it matters much but at least it's not in my deck anymore so that's good he helped me out with that <laughs> all right so weapons master the villain attacks you if they have a weapon it gains surge thankfully no weapon so what are we doing about that uh he just attacked me attack oh you already drew it okay insight one insight one and oh brutal we have to discard a random card from our hand and take a damage. Are you kidding me? R. How do I shuffle? Is what, it just yeah, R? Yeah, the selected. And then, and then yeah, click off of it. Click off of it before you select the card. Sonic Arrow. Sonic Arrow would actually have been nice. I do have my cable arrow debate again. <laughs> do I cable arrow before flipping or fusillade? Oh. I mean, I don't think it's a question. I definitely think I fusillade. If I had sonic arrow, I would have done that, though. But unfortunately, that got discarded. Right. Who's up then? Yeah, Is it Hulk? Be Hulk. 
Brutal losing three cards. Yeah, well, losing any card is Hulk feels bad. Uh, cool. Uh, I just stack five. Is that true? I assume. Do you care? Do you need me to kill Crossfire? I assume not. I, I mean, yeah, I'm threat. flipping. Can you do three, Brant? Uh, I'm actually doing five. I mean, I can do um, three with my basic attack, but that's not useful. Oh, can you do basic attack and then play a thwart or something? Oh, or that. I guess I just play Spider-Man and deal four. Yep. One reveal, de deal each player an encounter card. So there's that, Terrence. Oh. Um, which is another place where Star-Lord just eats up this campaign because he just gets counter right. cards given to him. So you're doing two more? Uh, and then I deal two more. And is that where we are? And you're flipping? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. I mean, I guess I just do Fusillade and Attack. So that's five and two. Or five and three. Uh, so that's eight. I mean, I nice. feel like we're not beating this one in three either, right? Oh, did we? We didn't tick this up after the first one. Uh, yeah, this looks like another four. I did 15 damage on my first turn, so if I can do 15 damage on this turn... I mean, again, do I keep the double resource? I feel like I do, but it has not paid off keeping double resource. I guess I'm not going through my deck fast enough. That's the problem. All right, I do have Vibranium Arrow. I do have uh, Skilled Strike. I do have Yarn Bjorn. So I'll do a little bit more damage this time. All right, but drew a decisive blow, but nothing to remove threat. All right, Terrence, All right. you ready? Oh no, no, you don't have to discard if you don't want to. Now you may want to. I know you're used to being on your other side. <laughs> I think I want to, right? I think probably. Uh, all right. So it is now the enemy's turn. So we're gonna add four threat. One, two, three, four. And then we are going to Terrence's first player. So he's going to scheme for two plus two is four. Then he's going to scheme against Brent for two plus nothing. All right. This is, I, I feel like that's a makeup call from, from last game, right? <laughs> like, they're like, all right, guys. <laughs> I mean, I still, I still get my three boosts every game. <laughs> <laughs> so that's three more. <laughs> And then one more for Crossfire over here. How do you do the little arrows? The little uh, you hit tab button. Oh, tab. Okay. All right. Everybody draw a card. Start yeah. with Terrence. Brent. Oh, sorry. I'm that's playing okay. with the tab button. For side one, because that's what you wanted. <sighs> sure. Uh, I mean, captive. set one aside. That's five. That's, I mean, but those captives are ridiculous, by the way. They're almost worth it if you could get to five just luckily, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's where it can be a little fun with Captain Marvel because you use her to thwart a lot. So then these things she can pay off from. So she's kind of fun to do it in justice. But not here. Yeah, um, not what we're doing. So what, what just happened? Yeah, if I if I had strength, I could have done it because I have Suborbital Leaf in my hand. And I believe if I draw a Thwart card, he schemes again. I don't think if any oh, Thwart card is discarded it's... this way, and you have to discard them too, by the way. Yeah. So, so he schemes. He uh, schemes. Yeah. Or three more. Not dead yet. I mean, I... we're not. We the can... car. Oh no, that one's a mess. Wait, what? I think he just hits you back for the damage you deal to him, right? When a player attacks Taskmaster, prevent yeah. all the damage that would be dealt to the Taskmaster and deal equal amount of damage to the player's identity card. Then discard it. Wow. All right, so not only is he retaliating, but he's got that garbage as well. Right? 
That's that's interesting. Yep. Attached to crossfire. Fine. That doesn't matter. Don't you have to attach the crossfire? Cause it's oh, the crossfire. I'm sorry. Well, either way. It doesn't matter. When revealed on Alter Ego, place three threat on the main scheme. Not dead yet. <laughs> Just a flesh wound. All right. Can anybody poke for one? I guess you can, right? Brent, you could probably poke for one to get rid of this by, by thwarting something, right? Uh, no, uh, no, because it's, oh, it's when he takes any damage, when a player attacks him. Oh. But if I deal one damage, that won't count as an yeah, attack. Yeah, right. right. And it's a player, too. It can't even be an ally. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't have anything that deals one. I, I can attack him for two myself, but I'm then going to be dead. No, nah, between the retaliate and that, you'll be down. Well, yeah. Oh, do, uh, so attack cards count as well, I would assume. Right? So yeah. do you have to heal? Yeah. Uh, but when I flip up, I'm going to take a boost worth of damage, too. Oh, yeah. Let's not forget about that fun. What, what's the ally What's the ally we got on that thing? We didn't get one. When it's defeated... Don't you have set aside? Face down, so we don't get to see it either way. So it doesn't matter. You can just draw from the deck. So I'll play my conditioning room, which gets me the bottom card from my deck. Are you defeating him this turn? I mean, I don't see us dealing 38 damage. Does anybody have more than 10? Uh, I, I would probably no. be... I could get 11 uh, plus my attack, but that's assuming I could survive it, which I can't, of course. What should our counter be at? We punished ourselves one turn. Yeah, so it's yeah. at 11 now. Yeah, we're just starting so, our next. Wait, so how much damage are you doing? Me? Because I don't have a thwart, I mean, I have six damage, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, in theory, you have a thwart with cross counter. Yeah, but that's when you play it as a defense. Uh, you can't play, right? You can't play cross counter. What? You can't play cross counter as an event. Well, it is an event. But you it, have to play it on the villain. No, no, I have toe to toe. What? You need toe to toe? I don't know what you're saying. Toe to toe causes him to tax, so you could cross Oh, and then I could do cross counter. Gotcha. If we wanted to. Here's I'm the problem playing. I don't it's know that we're surviving cheeky. because of all the damage we have on us. And we got to take a boost card for. Flipping. So that's the question. If we're going to go for it in four turns, which feels like kind of where we're going with these heroes. Uh, I guess that's what I'm asking. Like, do we have enough to go all out, or are we looking for something else? Right. So if I waited till you flip up, and then you did that, then this one would be worth seven. This one would be worth two. That's nine. And I'd have to hold all these cards except that. So I'm 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 is what I would have then. The problem is this, right? And you would and deal retaliate. Right. He's got two things that are like going to kill us. Plus our the flip thing. You're pretty close to 15 now. Oh, but in order to play cross counter, I would have to defend for you after you play toe to toe, Correct. right? So that'd be two less. So then I'd be doing 13, but you're over 15? Am I? Well, here's the thing. We can die. Because you got 5, 10, let's play this crushing blow. We can die, right? Yeah, I can, pl I can play this, and I can play crushing blow. So how much is that? Yeah, we can die. No, you and I can die as long as he kills them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if we're just planning on dying. Crushing Blow is only three plus my attack, which is five, eight, plus another five is 13. So you're 13. I'm 13. That's 26. Can you deal 12? I do 14 Six. if I live. Well, not if I live. I do 14 between Skilled Strike 
Or not... Oh, I do more than 14. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I don't have the, the one card I thought I did. So, hold on. Cable Arrow... So, do I have enough for Yarn Bjorn? I do. And to pay for it. So, that's 3, 4, 5, plus 6 is 11, 12, 13. I do 13 if I live. Yeah. Let's try it then. Let's all go right. all in. Well, and it doesn't matter if I live, right? Uh, so I take... are, does, does that count with your... Are you counterattacking them as well? Boost worth of damage, so I take two. Counterattacking who? Uh, I just wonder if, if you were going to counterattack. I guess not, right? I don't think so. I think I'm going to end up blocking for you and playing my cross counter, I guess. Okay. Oh, but he's going to um, then ignore my whole attack, which doesn't work. Because of this what? dumb what? Stuff, ignore your right? Attack? Prevent all that damage you give it back to me. I can only do that by attacking. So, so I think I play acrobatic move and I take two damage. Oh. Oh, but then do I also take a retaliate? Darn it. Not going to be there with the retaliate, huh? Yeah. Ooh, it's a mess. So wait. <laughs> it's hard with wait. people. So does this go off or not? How does this work? Attacks. So if I do this, he'll deal two damage back to me, but I guess I'm waiting. Right? Well, no, no, no. If he attacks you, can't you cross counter? It's not. Yeah. It's not an attack, though, right? It is. It says attack on it. No, no, no. This is no, no, an no, no, attack. No, no, no. It's not. An, it's not an attack. This is not an attack back. So here's the question: Could you have healed I before you so. flipped? I can, but then I can't block for one of you when you guys play toe to toe. And then you can't cross counter. I got it. Right. Because the only reason to do cross counter isn't for the health, particularly. It's for the decisive blow, right? Correct. To deal seven damage with decisive blow. Most of my damage comes from an attack. Well, I was two, right? I hit him with Spider Man for two because that doesn't go. That right. Just doesn't but then happen. he dies. Right, but we're going All right, for if it anybody here. Anybody sees anything right. that'll help us out here? Let us know. Wait, wait, why? Why does why does Spider Man die? Retaliate. Yeah, retaliate. retaliate. Right. Oh, you're not flipped. So oh. then, I mean, so are, are we not doing? So are we not doing it then? Are we not killing him this turn? Because that potentially changes what we should do. I it's really your mentality. Do you want to go for it and see how close we get, or is winning more important if we win in four turns? Like, it's all about your mental state of, like, you know you can win standard, right? <laughs> um, so to me, it's not as exciting as can I do it in three turns kind of thing. I don't, I don't win all my Hulk game standards, so... Gotcha. All right. So then I will heal instead. And then you can acrobatic right? move, right? And then I can acrobatic move and deal two to him, and this goes away. Although then I take three. Yes. Yeah. And then... Yeah, I mean, go all in at this point. I guess I just play the season blow. Oh. So I have a hurricane coming. On are you Sunday. in the northeast? I guess you are, right? Yeah. Or am I waiting on decisive blow if in case I play counterattack? I can't so really you... play counterattack. So I deal four damage to him now. Yeah. And then I guess I just use Spidey as a blocker. I mean, so I'm probably going to die, and I'll be all right with that. So, I mean, right? <laughs> like, there's no way I survive Crossfire and him attacking me. And re I mean, I might die retaliate. I might die from this right here. Let's see. All right. So I take one when I flip. Um... Shoot my vibranium arrow at him for six. I put out Yarn Bjorn. And I attack him for three, four, five, and then Yarn Bjorn for six, seven. Did you take the six off or no? 
No. So I take I didn't 13 take any off. off. Get a request from Steven Johnson for the truffle shuffle. Yeah, it's not going to happen, <laughs> Steven. Not going to happen, buddy. <laughs> but it's a good Goonies reference. Yes, it reference. is a great Goonies <laughs> reference. But no, no truffle shuffle today, sir. All right, so what should I do then? I mean, he has 17 health. You, you do, you do you. Uh, you should have taken a card flip worth I did. of damage I took too. One. Okay. Oh, I didn't take that last retaliate. Oh, okay. I don't take a retaliate for my Never vibranium retaliate. arrow, but I did take a retaliate. I, I only flipped a one. All right, so I do base five attack, right? Um. I don't know if toe to toe if I will even survive a toe to toe. I guess Swack was Mister Man, but I mean then it might just kill us. But if you can get him down to two, all right. So mathing out, if I do, if I flip, I take some damage. Crushing blow will do three, right? And then toe to toe will do five, so eight plus another. Yeah, another three, so six, 11 damage, basically. Gets him only down to, so he'd still have six more. But do you, you have this uh, hand cannon? Would that get him down to four? Oh, yeah, hand cannon would get him down to four. Maybe I draw another cross counter, and I double cross I mean, counter that's and what kill him? That, that's oh, what I you're counting on? <laughs> By the way, why is skilled strike on top of your deck? <laughs> Because uh, I can, I can reveal the top card of my deck. So I will try to keep it this way because I know it's bugging you. Zero. Uh... I mean, you could not toe to toe if we're trying to stay alive, right? Then you can crushing blow and play this boundless rage. I mean, yeah. Do you just want to heal? Is the other Maybe question? That's right. No, because I have hand cannon. <laughs> no, because I have hand. I mean. If you kill Crossfire, there is a sliver of a possibility I could... Do you want I mean, me to kill Crossfire? I kill Crossfire. The only reason would be there is a sliver of a possibility I live if he draws a zero out of there. But I don't even know if that's worth it, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I assume we're killing him next turn. If right. he lived. So the point is, try to live. That's why I said maybe heal. So killing Crossfire makes sense. If we're trying well, to but live. I'm not living, right? So I don't think it matters. I think he's killing me. Who cares about Crossfire? Because he just goes away, right? Should I not go Crossfire? No, he stays around. Now, wouldn't he move over yeah, to hold? Yeah, he'd move over me. Well, yeah. th but that's... But look at it. I'll, I'll block for Hawkeye with Spider-Man. I'll block for myself with Cross Counter, and Hulk will block for himself with his three block. All right. Well, all right. So... So you get a hand cannon past crossfire then? Yeah. You're six, attacking six, so he does two. So two to the enemy. And then crushing blow. To do four. Yeah, you take a retaliate. And take a Unless it's not, it might not be an attack. I don't know. It is an attack. How is he down to four? Oh, he's not. He's down to 11. I'm sorry. I'm so confused. All right. So we're good. All right. And by what, by what I mean by we're good is we're alive. <laughs> are we going to lose the threat here? We are alive. No. I mean, I mean we might. Good. It's going to go to 33. Oh, I got a plan of attack and fuselade. So, all right. I got my 5, 8. I mean, I got a quiver too, so I could. Now I need all my double resources, and I don't have them. All right. Um. So let's see. We're gonna add four. Right. So if we get There's four more, threat. we're in trouble. <laughs> and like every other game we have, so let's. Isn't it five? Five. All right. I mean, does that? Yeah, I don't know that it matters at this point. <laughs> all right. Gotta live on the edge. All right. It's so he's running. attacking you. Uh, oh, we all have to take a damage or add a threat. <laughs> Why? From his card, hunting down heroes. Oh my, have we been doing that every turn? Or have we just forgotten that? Yep. 
Oh, we've done it. We did it. We didn't do it on turn two because we right. all flipped down. Yeah. Um, I don't think I can take a damage. I don't think you I can, can take a damage. Die, so I think we got to put it. I will. I will die on okay. my killing him, but I can take a damage, right? I think I'm gonna need to keep this. Yep. Yep. That's fine. Two. I took okay. Damage. So there's one. Let's put it at thirty-four. We'll hope we get one insight. All right. So he's attacking me. For three. Perfect, Perfect. right? Perfect. Yep, and I will cross counter it. And then Whoa, I deal him. This kill you? Two damage. Wait, what happened? Uh, only, you're down to one health, right? Yep. Nice. So wait, it does what? Two damage to him? And removes two yep. from a scheme? And removes Let's two. Let's remove it from this scheme, right? Yeah. Which does make more sense, yeah. Yep. All right. Um, and I'm Spider Man for Hawkeye. All right, that's three. Thank okay. you. And you're defending for three. So you take one. I take one. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Look at this. Holy cow. But I think for, <laughs> I think it's going to be Stanford, hard baby. for three players to do less than this, right? Like, one of us might die here. Like, I can't imagine all three of us surviving these encounter cards. Or either, either that or the now. scheme's going. One of the two things. There it is. Yeah, we lost the scheme. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, insight one. That wouldn't have killed us. And then you got to just... Oh, come on. We're so close. I feel like we're... I, I, I feel like Terrence and I messed around maybe a little too much and tried to get cute playing Hawkeye and Hulk on speed runs. Right. That well, that I do think a little part of that. I think, I mean, your decks could just be tuned a little bit sure. better. It's just it's one of those things where you need to play. It's like I don't know, like people playing Magic and playing their deck fifteen times a day. You know what I mean? Dude, you start to see what's a little bit better. I don't, Gamora's not even necessarily up there. You know what I said? Like if you played Captain Marvel and Star Lord, you'd just really sure. see the difference. Because this nine damage would have been easy. We would have been doing twenty damage extra. He would have been dead on turn well, three. Well, no right. I, when I played Star Lord, I noticed that. Like I, I was over by like twenty. On I mean, I only played the first villain. Yeah. Uh, so we good for tonight, or do we want to do one more? Or where are we at? I think that makes sense. I think everybody's gotten the idea. Yeah. All right. So let's do this. I will say that Zola goes down like butter. <laughs> I, I like things going down like butter. So he's he's nine less health, which means we would have had exactly the damage. He does have the retaliate right. built in. Um, but I ignore retaliate with my arrows, which unfortunately I just didn't get enough. I mean, there's only two real great arrows in there. And that's the other thing. Maybe I should have confused more because we did lose the scheme two of the three times, which I'm guessing yeah. doesn't happen in solo nearly as much. So it's not like we were losing from getting killed. I mean, it's both things, obviously, but. Uh, yeah, I actually thought Hulk did not terrible. Like, no. I no, think he's I was good. doing 10 plus damage most turns. I mean, we're all doing 10 plus damage most turns, yeah. I feel like. I mean, I had one bad turn where I drew only resources. but uh, And then the one turn I blocked for you two with my stupidity trying to get you guys to have ridiculous turns. I didn't do well that turn, right? But I could have done 10 damage that turn if I had just stayed. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, so if we played, like, Gamora, Star-Lord, Venom, then the other bonus is, like, working together, Star-Lord plays Blaze of Glory, and it's automatically two for six. Yeah. So it's a really strong card. Right. Then, you yeah. If mean? you're playing, I mean, I think the guardians are pretty good. Like we went back, and played some older heroes. Um, not Groot and not Rocket. They can't play fast, which is weird that they put them in the box because of that. Yeah. It's it's in, <laughs> it is an interesting box. I feel like they did that because people might not have bought them separately. I mean, I hate to be cynical that way, but you know what I mean. Because they're a little less powerful than all the rest. Yeah. Like all the rest of the heroes feel like really strong in the in that wave whereas rocket and Groot kind of feel like they're not weak but they feel like the weakest of that group of heroes there 
Well, they're weaker in solo and two player, a little bit. Groot, especially, he's a little tough. I mean, people solo him justice a lot and do you know do pretty well. They're great in expert because you just build and build and build and deal with everything. And then Groot is incredible end game, like Iron Man. He's basically like Iron Man. He's so good end game, you know. And Rocket is just all about his card draw. So that's the thing I always try to preach with Rocket. It's like it's not about the the murdered you. That's the icing on the cake. His best two abilities are Salvage right. and Tinker. Yeah, no, murdered you is only good against certain villains. I feel like, you know, right. I mean, it's very good against Ultron, obviously, and it's very good against Goblin. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know if he's very. That's very good against the. They have like pretty high hit point minions. No, it's really just Ultron. <laughs> no, because you just you just use tricks. You use the guns to deal two damage to a, a Goblin Thrall. And then you kill it with the um, rocket, the right. rocket launcher. It works. He's he's fine. He can do it. And he also, Actually, I think he's fine. Him, I just don't think he's really the, good. Uh, the phase and the relentless assaults to kill the bigger minions. Sorry, I'm trying to get us a better background so we can people can see our names. There you go. All right, <laughs> I finally found a good background. All right, so let's see. Do we miss anything from the chat? Uh, let's see. Um, apparent. I think Steve said, "Listen to Terrence." I mean, everybody. We should always listen to Terrence. Uh, let's see. So Stephen Johnson says Gamora's card doesn't have to be from an attack. So he's saying he thinks that you could just play that card without being attacked. Maybe is that what that was, Stephen? He could just use it from the flip damage. Oh. I I don't think so. I think you can only do defensive events for an attack. Well, what is... Yeah. It's a hero interrupt, too. But well, what does it say? Here's the does card. Does it say prevent three hero damage? interrupt. So, yeah, but it's a hero interrupt. So it has to be interrupting like a hero action, which would be your basic defense. Or a defense. Huh. You can't use it on your turn. You can't you you can use it on your turn, but it has to be oh. defense. Yeah, 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 you have to do like okay. toe to toe. So you couldn't use it for the flip. That's an interesting thought, though. Um. Yeah, they made that ruling when they started talking about defense events. They made okay. that change. Um, that it has to be from a defend, like it has to be part of the defense, like action. So what did you guys think of speed running? Was it fun? Was it different from what you're used to? Was it kind of boring because it's mathy? Uh, no, it's good. It's a different kind of puzzle. Um, uh, I think it was fun to play. Like, like I actually think Brute Force becomes a sampling better card just because I, I throw three of them in there just because in that you just if you can draw it during that thing of like uh, that tough, right? Like it, it makes a big difference of like not wasting any damage there. Yeah, and I was a little worried um, about like the decks being samey, but Terrence and I were doing very different things and both putting out you know ten a turn. Um, and, and your deck was obviously very different because you had the the uh, you know the justice events in there and stuff like that. So I was worried that everyone would just yeah. go aggression and everybody pick kind of the same cards. But I had kind of a weapon strategy where I was trying to get out weapons. Uh, use Fusilade and um, Vibranium Arrow to do damage, as well as just three damage from a normal attack. So I feel like I was doing eight, nine, and on good turns, like, what, 14 damage? So it, it was interesting how we all got there different ways. I, I yeah, like the, the aggression stuff feels very samey, though, actually. Like, I was building out the spider-man kit and it's just like a lot of there's a it's not 100 percent overlap but there's a lot of overlap of like staple cards right um i think one of the big downsides for hulk with plan attack is his big attack is not yeah like like i i think plan attack works a lot better um in like a spider-man because that swing web kick for right. eight um is a card you want to pull and so if you draw it, you're going to pull it. Uh, I think that would have potentially worked better. Um, but this card right here to surprise attack is pretty good. Surprise attack is pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, and neither you or um, I had surprise attack, but that would have definitely helped. 
doing it. And the counterattacks if you get hit on turn two. Although I, I well. don't think I should have had counterattacks in my deck. I just I don't have enough life. That's the problem with. Um... But you're only gonna get hit once. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because you're only getting hit that one turn. So when I played it with Captain Marvel the very first time, I had the three uh, concussive blows in her deck because they deal three damage and then they confuse the boss. And then she also, is she the only one? Well, no, I guess just her ally has confuse. Um, Spider-Woman. So you can confuse, which lets you flip down and not worry about threat. So she's the most consistent one by far. If you want to win regularly while speed running, that's Captain Marvel. If yeah, she you... also has the highest, like some of the highest Sorry. armor on the game, which lets you be way more consistent. Yeah, and that's what's fun with her is her speed run is all about how many cards can you draw, because she gets better the more cards you draw, which everybody does, but she specifically does, well, because she has the resource cards and she has her energy. Well, and Terrence and I, I don't think had any allies in our deck, and you had a couple in there, and I think a couple of allies you might definitely her. help. What was that? I mean, you know, that's her signature ally. I didn't add any allies to the deck, I don't think. Um, unless I'm... I literally have zero allies. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Spider-Man's good. Nick Fury's only good on turn three when you just don't draw a damage card, but then he's four for six. I had Wasp, which would have been... One for three. Yeah, I mean... Four, two for six. Yeah, I mean, Wasp does... Wait, how much damage does she do? Three. Yeah, three. three damage. I would have paid one for three damage. I feel like that would have been nice had I ever drawn her. <laughs> I don't even feel like I drew her the entire time, which is kind of interesting. Three times through your deck and not to see her once. I mean, we never went all the way through, right? Yeah. So, Steve. Yeah, so hold on. Let me... um. You guys keep talking. I'm going to pull up the Star-Lord deck So Steven Johnson says, that's of rules say interrupt abilities may be executed anytime the specified trigger condition occur. And the trigger condition was taking damage, right? Right. Yeah, right. Hero but, it's not, but it's not a normal interrupt, right? Because it's a defense event. Well, it's a defense, it's an attack, and it's a whatever. Well, that's the weird part about it. Where is that card? Well, the stream can't see it anyway right now. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it, then. It's not a big deal. But um, people can check it out. It's I put on Marvel CBD. It's called Showtime, A-Holes. And that's my speedrun deck. Um with him so it's pretty ally heavy and then it just plays off a of blaze of glory and sliding shots that's basically all you want to play is allies blaze of glory yeah i have a uh... which means you have to play element gun right yeah but element guns free for him yeah it's i free. it's three well it's free with the taking the thing i mean would right, you... but you could play you could play like you could play anything for three, right? Like you can well, play sure. an ally, you can play Well, but you can't not sliding shot. I mean sliding shot's so good for Star Lord. Yeah, my So I... if you're sliding shot, you really want to play it on turn two with him because you don't want it to... that's the hardest card to figure out to play with him is the uh Dairy Escape. Because you don't really want turn one, flip up, take four encounter cards, play a big sliding shot, well, right. put the villain on their second base. You really want to play it on turn two for free. So you play the element gun for free on turn one, and you play the sliding shot for free on turn two with the daring escape. Right. Yeah, I had one, two, three, four, five, six allies in my Star-Lord speedrun deck. Um I had Ant-Man, obviously. Maria Hill, because it's three-player, right? That's huge card draw, you know, for everybody. I did have Fury in there, which I guess for drawing a card, you actually get more cards yeah. out of him. He works so well in Captain Marvel, because, again, she can just draw into such big things. Yeah. But I don't know anybody else if Fury's worth it. He, he doesn't feel bad to just take up one slot and just use him as a resource. 
Right. Uh, because the potential could, and that's, I think that's a big part of how I play. I like to play to potential as opposed to like solid play. Like this will win consistently. I like the idea of like, Ooh, I could do really well. Well, that's why for fury or for uh, star Lord, he's good. Cause you know, you pay one to play him and you draw three. Um, so if you draw a crap hand, he'll help you get out of that bad hand. Right. Like that's, yeah. that's the benefit of him with star Lord. Uh, like if you have that all resource hand, like I did that one time, it would let you get out of it. I have, uh, I had Spider-Man in there and I had Wonder Man. Yeah. So the other card that's really good is last stand, which I know people can't see. So last stand is when an ally you control attacks, it gets plus three. And then after that, discard the ally. So you blaze a glory and then do that. And the ally gets plus five damage. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, Last Stand, Blaze of Glory. Yeah, because they both get rid of him at the end of the turn. Yeah, and then get readies so that if you play Blaze of Glory, now your allies are plus two and you can get ready to hit with them again and then Last Stand on the last hit. Yeah. That's kind of the idea. Yeah, so I mean, I think it would have been smarter if we'd planned better instead of all being aggression (laughs) to kind of do a little bit of each. Yeah, right. One Captain Marvel or I, whoever. I didn't want to tell you. Like, I wanted you guys to play who you wanted to play. I didn't want to tell you, like, this is who you should play. Because then you'd just be playing my decks. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. No, I did. Yeah. I, did I, think, because... I think that was part of the, the thing was you told us decks that you already built. And it, it was kind of like, well, I don't want to build those decks. Well, right. Right. Built them. And so <laughs> it was just like, okay, well, now I have to pick, like, weird decks like Hulk, you know. It's well, like I think a it was. deck that you would. I mean, I think knowing us, like we like doing dumb crap, like taking Hulk the stuff. So that's very much on brand for us to take a dumb deck like Hulk <laughs> to to and Hawkeye, right? Like nobody would think to take Hawkeye to a speed run, <laughs> probably. Like they're like, oh, like half his cards are no good. When you don't have villains that stun a lot, which most of these aren't too bad, he's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty hard. Like that's a that's a thing he does. He hits coming right out of the gate. Hawkeye wasn't too bad. Like I felt like you could you could build something around Hawkeye. He seemed like he was doing pretty well. And we had no problems with Crossbone. We technically beat the other one because we just needed to play Cable Arrow and we would have won on turn four. Yep. Um, yeah, and I think but yeah, that three players two turn- I think three players gonna be hard to consistently win in three unless you're just I mean, I guess every time it's hard to win in three unless you're just taking the best heroes um with the speed runs. But it's fun because it changes the way you think, right? Like, if you've played Marvel Champions, let's let's kind of, you know, do a discussion here over, you know, not just cards and, and what works well, but let's talk about, like, why you would do this in the first place, right? And I think if you've played Marvel Champions, how many times have you played it, Terrence? Uh, three, not counting tonight, like 333, I think. Okay, what my so 330. Oh, when we got three tonight. There you go. There's another benefit of speedrun. You can catch up to that number one person on BGG who has the most. Who's like 1,079. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so that's another. Be- but if you played it 300 times, right? Or even like most of us, 100 times, 150, 200 times, right? Like, it's something different. It's something, it's a different way to think about the game. It's a different way to try to build the deck. I had fun build it, just building the deck. Look, mine, both of my decks are version 0.1, right? I just wanted to make sure they worked. I didn't optimize them, but I could certainly have spent a lot more time optimizing these decks and made them even better. So, I mean, I think certainly when I was building the decks, it made me think differently. And when you're playing, it makes you think differently. So if for nothing else, I think it's good for that. And from what I've been able to see so far from the new, um, what was it? Titans, Mad Shadow of the Titan. Mad Titans. I think Shadow. you're going to be able to speed run that as well. I mean, Galaxy's Most Wanted, as you said, it's it's a flip-flop a lot. But I think I think Titan Shadow, at least the first couple of missions, like they seem speed runnable. I won't say anything because I don't want to spoil, obviously. The fourth boss will be really interesting to speed run. Because, um, like, Kang, for example, is weird to speed run, right? Because he has actual, like, stops. You can't move yes. past this gate. Um, so, yeah, there'd be some that'd be interesting to just build decks 
uh, in terms of all that. So what really instituted this speed run for me was, I don't know if you remember way back, like it must have been right around the pandemic, Team Covenant was doing Rhino Heroic right. 3. And they were streaming those. And my friend Larry and I, who I normally stream with, but we've taken all the equipment down, so now it's mostly been me solo. Um, we played, we like deck teched and we figured out how are we going to beat Rhino Heroic 3. And we played it 100 times till we got the win. <laughs> oh, God. But the games were like five minutes, seven minutes right. long. Um, but we, yeah, we just sat there and, and everything, and we played She-Hulk, Aggression, and Captain Marvel Justice until we got him down in three turns. Well, and that's the bottom line, right? For Heroic 3, you just have to beat him quickly or you're going to lose, right? Eventually, it just overwhelms you. So that makes sense. I mean, I, I've never played Heroic, honestly, not even Heroic 2. Although I've played Galaxy's Most Wanted, so I feel like I've played Heroic 5. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely not. I know. Fun, I'm just but, joking, but yeah. you know what I mean. It 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 feels rough. Yeah, yeah. I just I just played a, a run through, not like campaign, but I went through each standalone uh, with Gamora. Uh, uh, I I think I'm maybe the only person in the world who likes Galaxy's Most Wanted. It's it seems like from just talking to people. I don't mind the individual villains. The campaign, I just, I didn't like the idea of if you do well, they punish you more. And I get that that's kind of like, oh, well, you're good at this, so maybe we should give you more. So it almost makes you want to play suboptimally to do right. some things. And then. Well, I think it's, they're just trying to make up for the fact that if you do well, you get more cards. Like you get better campaign cards. Yeah. Right. Um, and so they're trying to balance that out. Uh, I mean, maybe that was the Ron design. Um, that's fine. Like, I don't know. I, I guess for me, like the big draw for Marvel is not even the campaign. Like I, I have fun and I enjoy running through it, but I think on most days I'd rather just take a villain off the shelf and kind of play it personally. I 100% agree. I would never tell someone you should join this game because right. of the campaign. But then you get weirdness in stuff just like an extra Absorbing layer Man, right? Who isn't as good. He's almost not a dead villain. Obviously, speedrun, you know, he, he becomes interesting again. But some of the ones are designed clearly to be as part of the campaign, right? It's not often, though. I guess it's only the one I can think of. Yeah, and I, I think that part of that comes, too, is I think that's actually Michael Boggs's first thing he designed uh, in a campaign. Um, and uh, I don't think it would happen, but like I really enjoy the kind of return to a nightmare stuff they've done Lord of the Rings. Uh, it would be really neat to see them revisit some of this older stuff. Like, I actually think the mechanics in Absorbing Man are really fun. Uh, they just didn't do enough with it, um, and it's not interesting enough. Uh, but, like, the core concept behind his design is actually very interesting with kind of the traits and, and you know, fits thematically. So I, I would love a second. Well, and I'd that. say I feel the same way about Wrecking Crew, right? Like, I felt like it was yeah. interesting what they were trying to do. The execution wasn't great. I will say that I'm excited with what they've done with that same concept going forward. And I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to spoil too much, but, uh, yeah. Are we, are, is it because it's not released? Like we're not talking about this stuff. Right? I mean, I guess it's been spoiled it's to everybody awesome. already. So, right. Like, well, yeah, I, but I, I feel like if it's in spoiled, it's like still very different. Cause people like most people are not necessarily going to go out and print it or, uh play on tts if you're like a casual i don't know like I, I i still have not read through any of the villain stuff because i want to play it fresh and physical i will just say one of the uh, missions feels like wrecking crew done right i'll just leave it at that i don't know if you agree with me brant I, yep, yeah i agree with you um i so wrecking have you ever played wrecking crew with more than two people no it's way harder. The health is so high when you have like four people. It's a whole different ball game if you play that with three or four people on like expert. It's real tough. <laughs> so I think that one was designed like we're bringing our four against your right. four. You know, and I think seeing more and more of that where they're saying, okay, if you're playing solo, that's just a game that we didn't really. It's just there, right? You can play solo, and it works pretty well. Like somebody like Spirit Island, oh, if course. you know that board game. We're the one-stop co-op shop, Brand. If you play we know Spirit Island. <laughs> yeah. I 
No, we're, we're the one stop Marvel shop. Get what out of here. Peter? Well, but that game says play with one, but it's super swingy. We didn't really expect it to be that way. All right? solo games are super but swingy. Marvel's I'll super- be honest. Like, we've designed but- enough games now, and we've tried enough variants of our own games and tried them solo it just swings harder it just does because yeah here's the thing with building a co-op game you can't have every event be the same right they all can't be advanced because then you would know it was coming or whatever right they, there's got to be a range of difficulty between your events if they're all the same then that just it isn't fun you don't have those swings you know you need that like or or else like once you get on a roll or whatever you just feel like you know where you're going so you want cards that are swingy in those event cards at least a little bit. And just one player, if you get all hard cards, it's going to swing one way. If you get all easy cards, it's going to swing the other way. Solo games, well, multiplayer games that are played solo tend to be more swingy. It just is. Sure. Yeah, but that would be an interesting thing is like maybe do a four-player wrecking cruise standard. Just even do the A's just to see the difference with four people right. in that, you know? Um, in terms of all that, and it, it's interesting. There, I think Wrecking Crew is a lot better. Do if you do that? Okay, good to know. So Steve uh, is out there. He says a couple uh, things. He says keep the super absorb in uh, as a side scheme in play. He's a new villain. So remind me what that one is. Uh, super absorbing man. His super absorbing power is the one that says he triggered. He counts as having all four oh, traits. Yeah. So if you make him have all four traits every single time, then it's a lot tougher. That makes sense. And not being able to get rid of it. Uh, so uh, He says, so I'm yeah. guessing you guys He's won't do a there. first impressions video. So I'll tell you because I did have to record a little bit early because I'm going to be away. So I've already recorded the two videos that are going to go up uh, with the two new heroes. And um, I did them with the first two scenarios. So you will get impressions of the two heroes and the two scenarios, the first two scenarios, when they come out. I'm sure we're going to play through the campaign, Terrence and I also, and at the end of the campaign, we'll probably give you our impressions of the whole campaign. We may even do it before the last one, but I'm sure we'll give our impressions. Now, it's going to be a little different because I'm doing one of the heroes on our non-streaming channel, and then the other hero is going to be here. So, but I'm going to have links in the two videos so you can go back and forth. But because it's not streamed, basically, it's not going to be a live play, which I normally do live plays. I tried to keep, especially the one for this channel, as live feeling as possible. But obviously, there's no interaction um, with you guys. So, but those videos are... You could have, you could have fake right. comments. You'd be like, you could have your son comment on the right. thing while you're playing. Well, I did it because my family was out of town, <laughs> and it's when I had time to record it, and I knew I wasn't going to. Plus, we had also talked about uh, playing through some of it. Um, but that'll be up when the game comes out. Those videos will be up. We're not. I'm not going to put them up early, um, just because I don't feel like it's right. I'll wait for uh, for that to uh, be live for everybody. Are you going to wait till it comes out in the U.S.? If it's delayed, you're just going to wait till the in theoretical street date. No, the th- oh, that, so that's like interesting, that's right? There, yeah, right? if it comes out in another country, yeah, I'll probably release them when it comes out somewhere else. Because if somebody's got it in hand, I think that's that's fair game, right? Yeah, I think it's releasing Canada and the U.K. on the 27th. Um, but potentially it's being delayed out until October. For the U.S.? Yeah, maybe. I it's it, it, there are no there's like no there's just a lot of rumors yeah. I feel like is what has been Well I'm hoping so. it's released by next Friday somewhere because in all honesty I can't record next Friday so there won't be a Marvel stream next week. Uh now Terrence if you want to do it Thursday night or something like that I could do Thursday maybe even Saturday but I got my fantasy football draft so uh <laughs> unfortunately that's next Friday. I tried to get him to move it to a different day couldn't do it so um we'll see uh i i can probably spend all right thursday. so we'll probably do thursday next week work. so just keep that in mind um we might do it a little bit earlier because it's a work night um i'm back to school next week uh, so yeah i'm gonna be a lot oh uh, yeah i know it's tough yeah we got our kids going back to school too so it's uh it, it'll be different it'll be different but I know Mike's not looking forward to going back. So you've seen a lot of videos on our 
you know, non-streaming channel again for Mike and everybody. They've been like almost every day. Well, that'll slow down big time when Mike goes back to school. That's for sure. So I can't, I can't tell the difference when Mike is in school or not for how much he talks on Discord. <laughs> well, so he's pointed out to me because I've yelled at him. I'm like, dude, I'm trying to call you or talk to you. And you're like talking on Discord. You're ignoring me. But he can type on Discord and things like that when he's at work. But he can't like talk, right? <laughs> so I feel yeah. like he's one of those teachers. All right, read the book, kids. He's like on Discord the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, this past year, I was on my computer so much that some of those things I was able yeah. to... You know, because I had kids on Zoom, so I'm watching kids on Zoom. It's like, oh, I could type on something yeah, quickly, that but uh, that was easier. I, I taught from my house, uh, so I actually held the record for being quarantined five times, and I'm okay. I never got COVID, <laughs> so I, you know, can make a little of light of it. But I taught from my dining room table. You know, I was quarantined five times for about ten days. So I was about fifty days that I was teaching from my table yeah, instead I was of in the building last year. Twice. You know? But I mean, I, I'm not a teacher, um, but yeah, I had two. Yeah. And so I'm pharmaceutical rep. I'm in doctor's offices literally all day, every day in hospitals. I was at Johns Hopkins, which is clearly like the hub for COVID treatment in Baltimore area. I was in nice. there every other week or so uh, during COVID. Never got any COVID exposures there. Literally went out to lunch with counterparts twice. And both of them ended up having COVID, like not from work either. Ooh. I'm like, you guys got to be kidding me. Like, come on, people. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, no, it's no joke. We're back. Our store is back to masked. The town that it's in is, has a mask mandate now. So, you know, playing in our store is. But people can play. So I feel like that's a bonus. People can come and play. They just got to mask up, you know, keep everybody safe. Yeah. All right. So we do have some comments. Uh. Sign an NDA and you need to be in. Oh, wait. Uh, how do you become? Oh, we we're just talking about how to become a play tester. Uh, you got to sign an NDA. You got to be invited. Check the FFG website. Uh... Yeah, I was interested that Steve was saying he was a play tester. I thought we were not supposed to say. So I also play tested. Um, but I wasn't sure when I was supposed to say anything. So. I, I'm not going to talk about it at all, but I'll just at least say yeah, that I did well, play Yeah, well, I'm not a play tester. I just, you know, I just saw the preview cards and saw and uh, <laughs> and was able to to get some games. Yeah, in it, it, it was it was yeah, it was spoiled uh, to content creators, I believe. Like, I think Mag actually got a real copy in like a physical uh, from Asmodee Direct, so he was allowed to kind of do all that. Uh, and I think there's some other content creators as well. So if you if you go to Hall of Heroes, you can literally see every card. basically every single yeah yeah every single card he has up there. So I was sad, I was sad that there were no playthrough channels that got it to do plays of it. Which I know some people wouldn't watch because they don't want to be spoiled, and maybe people did and they don't have time, and that's totally fine if somebody got a box and and we didn't or you did. But like I wish they had given the box to somebody who does playthroughs who could. I don't know. For me, that's my favorite. I mean, I like reading the cards, but seeing somebody shuffle and play the cards is a big sure. difference so i i wish they had done well, that they have know? not um and you will I, I mean here's the thing we're such a looking forward society like let's be honest two weeks after it comes out there's gonna be hundreds of videos on it right so i mean the fact that they're not out yeah. and the game's not even out like i don't know I, I don't love that fantasy flight spoils so much ahead of time like i wish they would just get people excited as it came out you know what i mean like we're already looking past this set and it hasn't even come out yet. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I, I <laughs> wish there was videos on it, but like it's not released yet. So, I mean, and we've never gotten anything from, no, we've gotten games from fantasy flight in the past, obviously for one, for their other co-op stuff. But the only thing Marvel champions we've ever gotten is the base core set they gave us. Um, but we haven't gotten anything else. We paid for all of it since then. Of course, I don't even play it on stream, right? Yeah, we were play TTS. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's all right. Sorry. Uh, yeah, but they gave us Galaxy's Most Wanted, which was super awesome. Um, but then, I guess with being a store, they just told me, well, if you have a store, you just get it through our distribution and just play it as soon as you get it. So that's what I've been doing, you know, kind of Tuesday, Wednesday before it releases, we've been playing it. Yeah, Victor says, yeah, I've seen a few content creators who had the actual box and cards. Um, but he's agreed 
that searching for uh, that, but all the people are doing is going through the cards. Nobody's playing through it. Well, I've played through it, but I'm not willing to share that yet just because I feel weird about doing it on TTS um, before it's actually released. That's that's a personal thing because actually Mike asked me today if we were going to release it early. I'm like, nah, I don't feel comfortable doing that as a TTS play because I want to have bought the stuff myself. You know, I'd like to have physical copies, you know, when I'm when I'm showing something off here on TTS. So are you yeah. actually are you gonna actually wait till you can physically? Well, buy it? like you said, if it comes out in Canada, maybe not. I might do it at that point. If when people can physically buy it, I feel comfortable doing that because uh, we know I'm buying it, right? I'm buying it all. Like I'm gonna buy it the day it comes out. I just <laughs> does it count if you pre-order it? You like right put your money down. So I just don't want anybody getting pissed. I can just drive to Canada. It's about five what hours for me. I consider. Driving to Canada, it's about five yeah. hours. Everything, everything's harder now, though, during the pandemic, right? Like just dealing with all that stuff. Yeah, for sure. But that's all right. Well, we'll all have it soon enough. Like I said, in a couple of weeks, we'll all have it, and it'll all be like we'll be talking about the next one, right? Whatever the next one is. So, I mean, uh, if we have it in a couple of weeks, I'll be happy. Uh, I don't know if that's actually. True. I will say it's super fun, but I'm having super fun with what we have as well. You know. Um. So that being said, Terrence, what are you thinking about for next Thursday? Any ideas? I know we've talked about stuff. Uh no, I mean I was thinking about just uh, uh for a while I've been wanting to build. And I'm sure there there are decks. I haven't really looked uh, on Marvel CDB for kind of Black Widow aggression, but uh, I have been thinking about just since line weight hasn't spoiled, like uh, a Black Widow thing that uh, there are multiple traps that you would want to play, or not traps, traps, prep cards, yeah. prep cards uh, rather. Um, that and like I think now with uh, hand cannon and other ways to kind of deal with those minions, like you have the ability to actually play looking for trouble um that kind of came out and was it galaxy's most wanted um to actually draw those minions into your prep cards that potentially then you can trigger it and then use your suit to then ready oh i got to you. then attack more than once um i think that's potentially viable well, i'd like to see you do that uh, maybe you actually know Widow's one anyways. of my favorites and i haven't played panther in a long time maybe we'll think of a, a way to make panther interesting um I mean, you already did with your your no uh, no gear up Panther, no no, no, no Wakanda, Wakanda forever. Panther. I I don't believe in Wakanda, For, uh, but I, I'd like to do something cool uh, I, with, you know, where you're just drawing more cards or something to get to those Wakanda Forevers faster. I know that's why I've built decks for him in the past, but I want to see if I can make it better because he always seems swingy. Like if you got all the Wakanda Forever, you were super happy, and if you couldn't, then you were super sad and a lot of times he felt he swung that way like whatever you know whatever way the wind blew um but i want to see if you can make a more consistent panther deck now um that's what i'd like to try yeah if you play those two together and in your black panther deck you just put all the upgrade cards and you give them to black widow and terrence so like endurances and downtimes and crew quarters and uh a, honorary avengers you'll like those real cheap ones those basic ones clear right. out your deck you'll get a real small deck that you'll be able to recur with all those and then just put your power-ups out you'll be super strong with just like the only thing you have that are non-signature cards or upgrades yeah put out yeah. yeah just give them all to terrence build him up really big you just sit there and well i mean you, you can have two of them right yeah like, one for so each of us like like you one yourself one on the other player that'd be yeah. interesting Yep, and that works really well multiplayer yeah. too. Like I, when I say multiplayer, I say yeah. three and four. It's super rude to two player, but I'm just trying to get people to think, you know, even bigger games. Yeah, I mean the benefit of speed run, I will say from today is we got what three games in in less than two hours, which is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so you had a uh, multiplayer three player play on your channel. How long did that one take? Yeah, I know. That was the one thing I remember when I was talking. I don't remember if it was the last time I was talking to you. I was like, oh, multiplayer games aren't that long, so we want to show it off. So that one took us about an hour and 35 minutes. I think the whole video is an hour 45. That's not bad without cutting away. Um, it was a little bit long. 
Without cutting away, yeah. About an hour 35, I think, was our play time. So that was Steve from Beat the Game, and he played the Thor Aggression deck that he played on your channel. Um, I played Cap Justice, and I was kind of like the handing out candy and everything. And then Brian on there played um, Steve's deck, the Miss Marvel Never Go Home, where Miss Marvel never flips down, and she just keeps recurring defense events to block. It's really, really nice. powerful. Well, you know, I play with Terrence, so, she just so gets our, our games take two hours. I mean, it took you know 20 minutes to get terrence's first play out this time well you know i gotta gotta decide when to flip you know <laughs> right do, do, do i, I flip, flip turn I one with hulk yeah, well, that's funny. Yeah. You flip down <laughs> you flipped up and then flipped down oh uh, <laughs> no I, i'm just busting terrence chops i love playing with you man um this has been really fun the other Suggest is that you go back and play with the aerial cards they they brought those out i think in star lord's pack yeah Star-Lord's i think we pack. saw that though and where do we, we see did... that? or maybe i just played with steve off off stream yeah i think steve steve was talking about uh aerial cards but i feel like the only aerial card people talk about is the protection one ever vigilant yeah so the we played with die bomb steve actually added that to the thor deck um, but Dive Bomb, I played it with uh, Iron Man. It was awesome in Iron Man's deck. It does seven damage to one thing and then one damage to every other minion on oh, the board. Wow. For how much? It, it, it's four. Four. It's like super expensive. Yeah. I mean, he has but seven card get, hands. So. Um, I always want to call it Mortal Kombat. What's the, what's the upgrade, the aggression upgrade? Fall through. Um, no, it's the one that you pay a punch for an aggression, an attack card. Oh, Marshal, Marshal Prowess. I always want to call it Mortal Kombat, and then... No. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. <laughs> but that makes it cost three, you know, and then you play with a double resource, so it's not so bad. Yeah. Um, and then the uh, other one we had, Captain Marvel, plays really well. You get all your Avengers allies out with Sky Cycle, so they're all aerial. And then you can have... I think four or five aerial allies plus Miss Mar- uh, Captain Marvel, and then you play the aerial event that costs three or two. I think it's three, and it deals three damage to six different targets. So it does eighteen damage. Sure, for three. if you have six different targets. <laughs> I mean, you you definitely are in like if if you're playing three three four, play. oh, that's three, true. four player games, you're going to have a lot of stuff out. So uh, I, I feel like dive bomb is very hard to and again i think that's why a lot of people talk about these cards is that they're playing solo slash two player it's just like one damage to every minion when you don't have a lot of minions out because you're playing solo or two players just like super expensive right uh, like, unless it's ultron i don't know yeah but even, in, but even ultron it feels expensive right like i feel like in in three four player in ultron like that becomes like an amazing card, even at four. Like I would burn my yeah, hand absolutely. for that card uh, in Ultron. Um, but like Remember, that's how they designed the game. Yeah. Well, right. it's, they, they said they've designed it for two. Like two is the target. Gotcha. Uh, so like when you say Wrecking Crew works with three or four, like I'm just like, did they even play test it at three or four very much? Like I don't even know. Like I feel like they they say they don't really design for solo or they haven't, but I think they're. They have said that they are looking at that more now that they've heard that people play, which is like a surprising comment to some degree because it's just like, clearly, did they get that feedback from Arkham or Lord of the Rings, like the, the other two co-op LCGs that people play them a lot solo? Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think they they tend to design around two to three. I think is like well, when you looked at Lord of the Rings, it came with enough stuff for two people, right? That was a two-player game when it first came out. Well, it says it's one to yeah. two in the box still. I mean, because that's all you get enough for in the starter. You need to buy a second box just to be able to play uh, three player or four player. Right? They don't give you enough health trackers. No. Nope. So, I mean, yeah. I, I've kind of, And this game was clearly... It's not the same as Lord of the Rings, right? Obviously. But there's a lot of stuff that they took from Lord of the Rings to build this. But just... I think this is kind of a streamlined version of what they did for Lord of the Rings. And I'm always intrigued when people say, like, oh, if you have minions. Do people feel like they don't have minions very often? 
Like I feel like I have minions very often. Like it doesn't yeah, feel I, I, like, I, like trigger. You, you, like look at look at the game we played today, right? Like how many minions actually came out? Not many. Right? Like I, I think I, I think it really like when Peter and I play, like minions definitely come out, but it's not like like you look at dive bomb, right? At the cost of four, like like you need a lot of minions to make it worth that cost. I think. Uh, yeah, you seven, seven good. for one target. Right, yeah. but seven seven for four is really expensive, right? Because it's expensive, yeah. Yeah, like like one, it's like a really expensive card, and so you have to basically sacrifice everything else you're playing in your hand for it. Uh, assuming you don't get double or whatever. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it, it's like a little undercosted, right? Because I feel like the value the value curve of a lot of attack events are like you want to do two damage for every resource you put in. Um, so that makes it worth it if you have enough minions, I think, that you're doing that kind of damage. But if you don't, then if you're just doing the seven for four, like, it is pretty expensive, right? Sure. I guess the other nice part about it, though, is if you are aerial, the card is zero, so you can use team building exercise. So yeah. suddenly by using team building exercise and martial prowess, no, then you just yeah. drop a two, one card from your hand. Obviously, that's a late game, and that's how I tend to play. I try to win probably in rounds 11 through 15 more than I try to win. Here, obviously, I'm trying to win in three. I don't often play games where I win in five oh, no. or six rounds. We don't like, either. That's not really a goal. I mean, yeah, you could that, by our two-hour stream, <laughs> I, you could tell. I, 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 think, um, I think in solo, I tend to win in that mid, mid-range, mid actually. Like, true solo. It would, some would make no sense, because it would just be an expensive card when you already could do enough yeah. damage. Yeah. yeah, I mean, my favorite heroes are Widow, uh, Iron Man. Like, those are not early game heroes, <laughs> right? Like, uh, I've started really liking Venom, who could be a mid-game hero, I think, but he still wants to build up, too. So... He builds he pretty does. quick. He builds surprisingly quick, considering how many cards he wants to have in play. And then, of course, Star-Lord could be an anything game, but he... It depends how... You could slow play him, but he kind of encourages you to play him faster even though you probably shouldn't all the time yeah i did a slow play with him i think i, I think i called it well if it isn't star prince or something like that and it was a 50 card justice star lord deck um and i took on expert claw i don't remember what i shuffled in but i tried to build up as yeah. much as i could and i just got a giant board yeah. state with him you know with with a 50 card deck um so that was fun to play it because I do so many of these speed runs with him that it's like, well, let me do the opposite, you know? Yeah, so Steve's been putting a lot of stuff. Uh, so both Steven Johnson and Steve from Beat the Game have a lot of stuff in the chat. And then we'll probably call it a night because it's getting pretty late. Uh, so he says, try my Miss Marvel Never Go Home. You already talked about that, Brant, uh, from earlier today. Uh, anybody know release date? We don't. I wish we did for um, Shadow of the Titan. Uh, I mean, I'm... I'm Mad, Mad Titan, Titan Shadow. Shadow. Mad Titan Shadow, is that what it is? Yeah, M MTS is the abbreviation, so you can always just use that when you're thinking nice. about uh, how to pronounce it. Just say welcome to. Welcome to nice. the shadow. Nice. Step, <laughs> in, step into the shadow, is that what it is? <laughs> uh, all right, so... Uh, Wait. So uh, Steven Johnson said that he loves your three-player game with Miss Marvel, Cap, and Thor. He thought it was great. So good job, both Steve and Brant. Um, let's see. Steve says Black Widow super uh, for fit protection. Uh, yeah, no, I agree. Black Widow protection is very fun, um, especially because she's got her armor that let her unexhaust. I think she has three defense. I mean, she's she's definitely meant to play not on her turn. Uh, that Maybe that's why I like it, because I don't feel like I have a villain turn when I'm playing with her. Uh, so her turn's super short, but she just puts out a bunch of stuff and then it's like, oh, you want to do that? Nope. You want to do that? Nope. You can't do that either. Um, oh, you want to hurt me? Yeah. He's talking about his, I think it might be a take no damage, uh, Black Widow protection deck where he, the super fit comes cause he puts fighting fits in and tries to stay yeah, at yeah. full health and then massive damage to yeah. the villain. I feel like that's always so risky, right? Like, uh, uh it probably depends on the villain of just like. Uh, like any of those cards that do indirect or direct damage or something. Yeah. Like you just can't. Obviously, you won't. You wouldn't bring that deck to that table, right? Or when you're playing Ronin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, Steve does a pretty good job, though. He doesn't, like, say, like, let me play, let me show you this deck by playing the simplest villain I can think of. He's, he's pretty good at mixing yeah. things up to be like, well, this is what you think it won't work against, and right. it will, you know? So he, he does a good job. And, I mean, I think that's one of the cool parts that all, all of our channels are doing, right? We're not just going against the easiest stuff all the time. I mean, gosh, Terrence and I have probably played... We're probably the only ones who have played yeah. on stream against that um, Cree Fanatics side scheme. Cree. And we've done it at least three or four times. Um, well, you always you always joke about it, and then it ends up in right. the game. <laughs> well, because it's fun, <laughs> right? It's it's an interesting thing to do. It's like, oh, this doesn't seem like it's going to be challenging enough. Well, let's just throw Cree Fanatics in there, too. It'll be fine. Um, and it's <laughs> never fine, by the way. It's like, never what? Fine. You're like, what? <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to bring a Thor deck. You're like, I'm going to put Kree Fanatic in. I'm just like, wow. Step it up. We did We did it early. And we shuffled in MODOK and Kree Fanatic. So we had Ronin and nice. MODOK out. Nice. Is that just like you play MODOK? You're just like, I'm bringing Hawkeye. Okay, get past that super retaliate. Yeah. I used to just leave him and just take the damage or stun and confuse him. Now that, like, he's so easy now that you have, like, Spider Girl. Like, I'll just stun and confuse him for two turns, and we'll just deal with him later. Or if you have Spidey, you just wait to swing and web kick him. Yeah. Have you done the, like, Red Skull with Legions of Hydra thing? Uh, is that one I've done? That might... That, I think that's one I was trying to do with Miss Marvel Justice, and then I was trying to do it with the Spider Woman, where you're really playing Captain Marvel. Have you played that leadership protection deck, where you just buff up Captain Marvel and draw cards and heal her? Yeah. That one's really good. Um, yeah, and I, I don't I don't think I could get Legions of Hydra down. It's real tough. You just keep, yeah, it's just tough. Like the, it's the gift that keeps on giving, right? <laughs> yeah, so you just keep coming getting back. Oh, and it's just so much threat with Hydras. Yeah. It's hard, hard and solo for sure. Yeah. All right, guys. I know we could talk Marvel Champions for weeks, but I'm going to let everybody get some sleep, including me. Um but Brant, thank you so much for coming on. Talk a little bit about your channel. You know, we've never done that. I, I meant to do that at the beginning. Sure. We know you do Marvel videos, but what else do you do? <laughs> and talk about your podcast too. Yeah, sure. So I have a podcast that's on the Dice Tower Network. So I think we're on year six. Um, and uh, so we, I just straight up review games on there. I've had various hosts um, or like co-hosts that are with me. I've been doing it mostly solo now. And then I started a channel and admittedly, like, I'm not a tech person. So it just was so much energy to figure out doing a YouTube channel. The podcast slid a little bit, but I've been doing episodes basically every two weeks right now um, and had a bunch of people on, friends that I, I don't get to see because I'm not at cons that are other content creators. Crystal Dax was on there, Matt Jude, Eric Summer is local to us. He lives 25 minutes from our store, um, which is right around Hartford, Connecticut. So um, get to play with him a lot. And, uh, and then the channel is Step into the Portal. We started it like so many people because, you know, we couldn't go out places. So we were playing games in the back room. Larry was kind of co-hosting that with me. But we play all sorts of games. Kickstarter games come in. Games come into our store. Whatever it is, um, we play on there. And now I mostly do solo stuff, and my wife plays on there with me sometimes. I went through Imperium Classics recently. I did five camp, five, the five mission campaign of Imperium Classics. That's one that a lot of people like to watch. And then from the store recently, we played my favorite game of the year so far, which is Meadow. I don't know if anybody's gotten a chance to one. play that. It is a competitive game. Oh, yeah. We don't talk about competitive crap here. <laughs> so, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, and, uh, yeah, no. And a couple other games like Excavation Earth and uh, Juicy Fruits and some other things. I'm actually going to be working at the Capstone booth nice. at Gen Con, so people can see me there. Probably be around the Dice Tower booth. Uh just they were limited on badges, so Tom couldn't get me in the booth with them this year. Well, yeah, it's it's going to be an interesting year for all of all conventions. Uh, we'll see. I hope they go off because yeah. we're planning on going to Origins. Uh, well, when I say we, I think it's just Jerry and I. But I'm definitely excited to uh, to get back to some live gaming. That's for sure. And we do stuff like when you don't yeah. see us on Saturdays, it's because people are over my house playing games. Um, <laughs> so yeah that's our game night we either stream it or we'll do it live either way so i'm not even sure what we're doing for tomorrow night that's why we have nothing on the schedule for tomorrow but we may end up streaming something there's a couple of new games i'm pretty excited to try new co-ops um that we might show off including the new alien game uh oh, right. and then there's the red dragon inn which hasn't hit kickstarter yet red dragon inn dungeon crawl 
but I'm super excited about that game. Mm-hmm. Like I've played it a couple times now. It's it is exactly my kind of game. So uh, we'll be showing that one off soon <laughs> before it hits Kickstarter. I'm sure both here and on our non-streaming channel. So I'm super excited to get that one back to the table. I've only played one mission, but it it made me very happy. It was it was designed for me. I think. Nice. That's yeah. awesome. So, all right, everybody. Well, thanks, Terrence. You've been quiet tonight, man. You doing all right out there? Well, I mean, you guys are all talking about different games. I'm just playing Marvel <laughs> Champions, so. <laughs> I don't know where you get the time to deck build and do all this. Well, I don't, stuff, obviously. So. You see how garbage my decks are. That's why it's fun. That's why people watch here. People watch, you you know, the other YouTube channels for, like, good decks. They watch me to see me crash and burn and sing. <laughs> like, that's that's all I bring to the table. You got to be collector. That was the, I did not think you were going to beat collector. I was I was rooting against you, and you got him. So well, I, I feel like I feel like Peter never thinks we're going to beat some villain at some point in the game, and then yeah. somehow we pulled off. You was sometimes. collector? Was do we do Ronin with collector? Was that that one or no? No, you just did the regular. I kept telling you to swap out the menagerie medley because that's what really makes it a mess. But you did it. Oh, that's uh, right. We did confused. we did we did dumb collector because we did collector with. Uh, widow and somebody else wait which when was we've we've done collector a few times which no the which most one recent one right to, Brand? last week you did star lord right. and hulk? hulk no 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 it no it was widow. I mean, it's always a question if you're going to win when you bring hulk oh no right? it was hulk. like i thought we did widow collector at some point recently because we thought it would be stupid right cuz collector was it hulk and rocky no you had star lord for sure I think it was Star-Lord, Star-Lord and Hulk. Widow, wasn't it? Because I thought... No, I was... No, we, we did Widow... We did, we did like, Widow and, like, Thor or something oh, yeah. a while back. People that wanted yeah. stuff in front of them. I remember that. Oh, yeah, last week we were just showing off Hulk, Star-Lord. I think you're right. Well... Did I play Hulk? You I did always play, play Hulk. Hulk, Terrence. You are the Hulk. We're trying to make Hulk work. We're bringing Hulk back over here at the One Stop Co-op Shop. <laughs> I think if he has the steady keyword or stalwart and he's zero four four, he's perfect. I don't think you have to change anything else. I would give I would love if he had a six card starting hand. That would be like my one for like alter ego side. Like I don't know why Bruce Banner's dumb. Like he's yeah. definitely smart. Is he like one of the he, I feel like he's one of the smartest people in the universe. Yeah, well and his ability's not great either. It's like draw a card, great, then discard one. What? Other people just let you draw cards. Why is he like not get to just draw a card? What? Uh, like other people don't have to discard; they just get well, six that's cards. True. We should go down the Hulk route. It's just, it's just not fun. It's just, it's, it's just a road of pain. That's how you pull the joy away from the game. No worries. <laughs> Play Hulk, love him. Yeah, but on. he has great cards in his deck. We were talking about that, right? Like you can't not buy him. I don't think because he has such good aggression cards in there. Oh, drop drop kick is like one of my one of like at least like before uh, steady comes out is like a super fun uh, card. I think. Yeah, that was the last card I dropped from this Gamora deck. Drop kick. It's expensive when you want pure damage for sure. So Steven Johnson's making fun of me because he said, "Go watch Brent's channel." Welcome to the portal because I literally get your channel name wrong <laughs> every week. I can never remember step into the portal. By the way, there's a big sticker on the page right now, so everybody sees it. But, man, I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I know right it's there. the portal, but I always think it's welcome to the portal. I don't know why it doesn't stick with me. That's all right. We're the. Why would you welcome someone to the portal? What was it? <laughs> I mean, that's what I say when people come in the store. That's I say right. welcome to the portal, so it makes sense. Cool. All right, fellas. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. We will do this again sometime soon. I know Extra Life's got to be coming up, so we're definitely going to do multiplayer plays when Extra Life comes back around. That's for sure. All right, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, everyone.